everyone, and welcome uh, to this stream on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That is me. I'm Johnny Chiodini. How are we doing? Uh, it is time for... Oh, look at that. Can you? Can I like... I can like super chats now. What a fascinating modern world we live in. It's actually quite useful for me because I then know which ones I've read out. I'll re well, I haven't read cats out yet, so I'll unlike it and then I'll re-like it. Uh, Cat M is on a super chat saying, Did you know there is a UK native butterfly that feeds on meat? The Purple Emperor. Its diet is just is not just tree sap or aphid honeydew, but also carrion. Um, I think I did know that at one point. Like, I was aware that the Purple Emperor... Like, when, when you said the Purple Emperor, I was like, Yeah, 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 that, that makes sense. Um, go on, Purple Emperor. Help yourself. You've gone for the full breakfast buffet. Yum, yum, yum. Um, hi everyone. Uh, like I say, youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's the channel you're watching. This is the person who is on the channel. Ergo, I am Johnny Chiodini. Today we are going to watch, um, some more, uh, watch, we're going to be playing, uh, the Tartarus Key some more. Um, we've streamed this twice now. Uh, we're probably going to finish it today. Um, I would like to do so very, very much. Um, if you are... If you haven't seen any of this game so far, um, basically, we are playing as Alex, who woke up in a mansion uh, with no memory of how she got there. Um, her room, the room she was locked in, was um, an escape room puzzle. Um, she got on the, on the shortwave radio that she found. She found a little walkie-talkie and got in touch with Torres, whose next cop turned detective. Um, we found some other people along the way, including Charles who's uh, a scientist that quite a few people in chat fancy. Um, we saved him from a living wall of flesh. Um, there's William, who is an unpleasant rich man who thinks he knows who put us all in here. They're members of the Tartarus Society, who um, it's like a very powerful rich people's gang um, who sort of enjoyed making people disappear, and I suspect... They've made them disappear by putting them in these slightly murderous um, escape room situations because we are being watched over cameras, BT dubs. And then uh, we rescued, I believe, Ruth, who had been uh, poisoned. Um, we had to synthesize an antidote. So we've saved her. Um, and now we're continuing to... Um, to <laughs> Artemis Bell says, unpleasant rich man. Isn't that a bit redundant? Yes, that is tautological. Sorry about that. Um... Uh, so, um, yeah, the, where we are now is in a creepy, creepy basement, I think, where, oh yeah, Elna Smith says we found our own dead body. We did find our own dead body and we've been seeing some weird stuff, including visions of our grandmother. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're now in a weird basement room with sort of two tanks with people in them. Um, one of whom is like weirdly mutated and we found some files that suggest uh, um, that some experiments have been going on, on on different people, which is kind of horrible. Oh, also, the, let me tell you about the clock killer. Uh, the, <laughs> the clock killer has been mentioned a few times now. Uh, the clock killer is basically, it was a serial killer who loved killing people with different instruments of horology. So they strangled somebody with a pocket watch, presumably with the chain. Um, somebody got crushed by a grandfather clock. Somebody got impaled on a, uh, a, a, a sundial. A real scamp, the clock killer, who I don't believe has been caught yet. Um, and I think that's about it now. Like I think we're ready to jump back into the game. But first, Lance Roberts has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of a pair, a very large pair. Um... Which has arms and legs and a face, which is also quite un excuse me <laughs> quite unusual. Um, the pair is holding a mirror and looking into the mirror, and it seems delighted by what it sees. It keeps going like ooh, and hearts pop out, and it says thanks for being you, which is very nice of you. Thank you very very much, Lance Roberts. Um, with that, let us get into the Tartarus Key, um, slot one. Okay, so yeah, we're in this room. Firstly, blood schmears. 
I can wipe up some of this blood with that cloth I found. Oh, okay. It might be the DNA sample I need. It's the simplest thing to try. Bloody cloth. Oh, yeah. So we need to find a DNA sample in order to use this control panel. Um, this is a person. They seem to be alive. Um, there's some sort of panel at the base of this contraption. Yeah, we'll get to that. This is a person. They seem to be mutated. Um, we're in the creepy basement. We've read all of the files about the experimentees. Um, and yes, we need a DNA sample here. But also there's this panel which we can examine. Uh, but we need to pry it off with something. That's how we got back to it, that's where we got to, rather, at the end of the last stream. Um, just quickly, Lisa Hunter's on a super chat saying, was planning this payday super chat, but now all in my head about it because of the likes. Oh, sorry, Lisa. I literally liked that as I read that sentence. Anyway, hi, Johnny and Skellies. Any chance you'll treat us to the Control Alan Wake DLC after this Press Any Kiadini? Um, I could potentially stream it once the series is wrapped up on the main channel. I think that'd be good fun. Why not? I really bloody like Control. I think it's great. And I really like Alan Wake. So yeah! Remind me once we get to that point. Um, Dr. Moss has done a super chat saying, Good luck and careful how you say clock killer. Clock killer. Yes, because you don't want to say cock killer. <laughs> it's better to just lampshade it. It's better to just say it and get it out of the way. Llama Bing! There's done a super chat saying, hey Johnny, guess what? I got the COVID. Oh no. Let's get distracted in the creepy pointy clickness. Uh, I've liked that super chat. Solely to say thank you for the super chat. Not because I'm glad about you getting COVID. I'm sorry that you have COVID. That is rubbish. Uh, rest up because it can really take the wind out of your sails. And uh, I hope you start feeling better very, very soon. Let us try this con Excuse me. control panel. DNA invalid. Well, I didn't think it would be that easy, but... Oh no. Oh great. Invalid. Lockdown active ID required. I'm stuck until I find some ID. Oh well that's very loud. Great news everyone. We've added a horrible shrieking alarm to our playthrough. Uh, let's see. Ah! <laughs> Hiya, sweetheart. I did sort of lose it for a while last last stream. Um, in a delightful way, but... Ooh! Oh, a screwdriver. How did I miss the screwdriver before? I thought they were preparing for the science to get weird. Too bad the actors are gone. I can never stand guns. <gasps> ID! ID! Great. A key card. Looks like someone should have been more careful with their things. Hopefully this ID is what I need to lift the lockdown. Please work, please work, please work. J Star Security. All right. Oh, the lockdown triggered the security locker. That's why we never looked in there before. Okay, thank you, careless employee. Let's just scan this ID. All right, well, that was actually very useful. We got rid of the scary red light and the door opened. Purge initiated. That can't be good. Oh, no. Uh, Aaron Payne has done a... Oh, who MD says Jill stars? Was that a reference to Resident Evil? A very good question, who MD twenty one. Um, Aaron Payne is on a super chat saying wanted to share some good fortune. Got a pay rise, so have some monies. Want to say thank you for being you, the highlight of my day watching you stream, especially when depression is winning. Also painting my first minis this week. Oh, congratulations, Aaron, uh, on the um, on the pay rise. But also welcome to the bloody hobby. Um, I'm very glad you enjoy the streams. Um, and I'm glad they come in handy when uh, you're not feeling so great. Um, good luck with the mini painting. I hope it goes very, very well. Um, okay. Purge initiated sounds bad. Oh. What the? Oh! oh! <laughs> Hell no. What is that? Uh, Ruth, are you there? Uh. A horrible monster's flopped out of this tank, and also all crime is is legal for an evening. Alex, yes, I can hear you. What do you need? A medical opinion, maybe? I'm in uh, some sort of weird lab with scary equipment and these these vats with people. 
Inside. I'm sorry, I keep yawning. I'll stop. People in vats. One of them is, um, dead. Haywire says, does this sort of technically mean that Alex is a murderer now? I'm pretty sure from the files we saw, um, uh, that this one was already dead, but that their body was being put in stasis, maybe? Uh, Josh Warriad is on a super chat saying, Ahoy there, chronic pain is winning hard today, so thank you for the distraction while I eat some halloumi sandwiches. Great choice of sandwich. Very sorry to hear about the chronic pain, um, but I'm happy to distract you as best I can. Uh, for example, Lightning 1998JD has summoned the Blood Pair. Uh, for the uninitiated, uh, I, I mentioned a pair earlier with arms and legs and a face. Well, the, it appears to have put the, uh, the mirror down and it's gone to get itself some sort of beverage. Um... The beverage in question is a white ceramic mug that it keeps showing towards the screen uh, as if to say, look what I have. And it's full of a viscous red fluid that I am quite worried is blood. Is it? Is this being considered a beverage? Will the pair be drinking it? I do not know. Where did it get it from? I do not know. Is it unsettling? Yes, it is. But it works with this scenario. So there we go. Okay. One of them is I'm dead. It looks like they were experimented on. They're very... Dot, dot, dot. The other person is still alive, but they're unconscious. I can't get them out, and there's some sort of system, and I was hoping that you, that you might... Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Alex, that's... I'm sorry, honey, but what you're describing is unreal. That's outside my expertise. I was afraid you'd say that. I know I don't need to tell you this, but be careful, okay? Just go slow think it through. You saved me. I believe in you. Yeah, thanks. You know, I don't think I've ever seriously hated anyone before, but Ruth, I hate whoever did this. Yeah, me too. Alright, well, we're gonna save. Save over slot three. Purge body. Examine. PJ Buck has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of a peach. What is that thing? says Alex. Well, I'm not done describing the peach. A peach is, of course, a piece of fruit. Uh, it's very fleshy and pleasant. Um, and, of course, they tend to have sort of a seam running down the middle of them that sort of lifts and separates the, the halves of, of it into two distinct bits. Um, in this particular diagram, especially with the way the light falls across it, it puts me in mind of a human butt. Which is very nice. Thank you very much, PJ. Hmm. Alright, what is that thing? Not a thing. This was a person once. They're a, per uh, they were, they're a victim too. Alright. Now. Broken bat. I think we need to get into this panel. I think I can get behind this panel using the screwdriver. I'm very worried about this bit. I was I was raised not to tamper with big vats in which people are being held unconscious. You know? A temperature sensor. Maybe I can throw it out of whack with the lighter? Maybe it maybe it think oh no, make it think they're dead? Maybe it think they're dead? Let's see here. Alex, this is... Something broke. I should check the panel again. Alex? This is worse than... Life sign. No. Purge ready. Okay, this seems to be working, but that was... Wildly irresponsible. There's a panel down here. What if I hold a flame up to it? Craig M says, I remember when my mama sat me down and gave me the don't mess with big vats in which people are being held unconscious talk. I know, right? It's... It's... It's a hard talk, but, you know, it's... I'm, I'm grateful to my, my parents for giving me that... That that talk. Uh, Root minus one says, reckless is the word you're after, Johnny. Yeah, irresponsible, reckless, both of those things. Okay, let's... Yes, no life signs. What a weird thing to celebrate. Let's purge the system and get them out of there. What if it blends them first? Uh-oh, they're wearing some... Oh! <laughs> catch them! Catch them! 
Hello. Kai, hey, hey, take it easy, breathe. What? What's happening? Don't... Who are you? Where am I? Adi, you okay? Says, hello, I cannot stay. I just came to say hi. Hello. I hope you are okay. Right. I cough, cough. Whoa, whoa, I'm not going to hurt you. My name is Alex. Uh, Alex? I'm, a uh, Kai. Cough. What? What's happening? The last thing I remember... Ugh, my head. What have I just given him? What on earth is that? Is it a bedpan? You, uh, uh, well, I don't know what happened exactly, but, but you're okay now. There's some uniforms in one of the lockers. Here, let's get you warmed up. It's a uniform. Right, I understand. Not a bedpan. These clothes are... You said your name was Alex? Cough. Explain, please. Okay. Okay. Well, we're stuck in some sort of crazy mansion. I woke up here in another room. There are other people here, too. This place is... It's filled with... With traps. And puzzles. We're being watched. There are cameras everywhere. I was trying to find a way out, and I found you, just like I found others. So wait, you're saying we're, what, kidnapped? Trapped with puzzles, and this makes no sense. Tell me about it, stud. <laughs> the front door is sealed, and we haven't found another way out yet. But, but why me? Why am I here? This is insane. Who did this? So all we really know is it's some sort of uh, society of powerful rich people who they put us here to watch a struggle and to see if to see who survives. What what a secret supervillain death society? I mean, William did kind of insinuate that only one person is meant to make it out alive. Hopefully that's wrong. But are you listening to yourself? I know, I know. But look, does this place look normal to you? Is this how you normally wake up? Listen, so far, it seems like all of us were chosen for a reason. Some sort of connection, even if it isn't obvious. Even if what you're saying is true, I don't know why they'd want me. Oh, Kai, no. Believe in yourself. Have some self-esteem. Why are you here? Oh, I, I'm just a nobody, really. I deliver th things sometimes, so maybe... But we should go upstairs. We set up a base in this big room with a fireplace and stuff. You can rest, and we can bring everyone up to speed there. Torres will want to meet you. Alright, I guess I don't have a choice. A fire sounds nice. My chest is still on fire from that liquid. Just stick close to me. I'll get you out of here, I promise. What about the thing on his wrist? What is this? What is this? Is it a pip boy? Are you part of Bethesda's popular franchise Fallout? Because believe me, you're probably going to fall out with William. He's a bellend. Okay. Kai, how are you feeling? I mean, not great. My head is swimming. Okay, we can take it slow if you need to, but we have to keep going just a little farther. I can handle it. Honestly, I just want answers. Okay. I'm worried about what's going to happen to us. Du -du -du. Mind the steam, Kai. Come on. Guy. Oh. That door wasn't open before. Let's check it out. Okay. Matthew Johnson says hopefully they don't have a xenomorph in their chest. Oh, no. Booze, paintings, cans. Oh. Pantry, map updated. Oh. How did he get in there? This place looks fairly normal. You and I have got to talk about your definition of normal. Trust me, after everything I've seen tonight, it's normal. What have we got here? Bottles. Big cans of soup. Sacks of coffee beans. Of course, of course. More pipes. Huh, I wonder if this butcher place is where the blood comes from. Butcher place. Butcher place! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Cardboard boxes. More cardboard boxes. All right, let's have a further look. I feel, I feel like I've seen this painting a lot. Ah, there they are. All right, a couple of skelly pals hanging back there. 
Uh, is there anything else we can see in here? I'm kind of avoiding going into that. Ooh, a note. What's this? Someone was doing an inventory of the pantry. Hmm. There's a little doodle too. That's got to be something. Oops. Uh, la 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 la. I just got a message. I really need to get back to somebody about. I'll do that in a bit. Let's see. Ooh. An incomplete inventory. Paintings, mops, brooms and skeletons were circled. Guess they were next to be counted. That picture looks strangely familiar. Yes, it's this picture. And also this picture. The doodle on the inventory list. Is there something behind this painting? A keycard. A keypad. A keypad. You found something? Yeah, another keypad. Another? You'll catch up quick, but these things are everywhere. This means the code is around here too. Like, written down somewhere? I wish! No, it'll be some weird puzzle. Something like a painting of little ducks wearing hats with numbers on them. Louis Fairman says ketchup or catsup? Ketchup? Catsup? Ketchup? Catsup? Okay, so should I, I should look for ducks? For now, look for anything that stands out. Kai, useless bastard. Right. Paintings, mops, brooms, and skeletons are circled. I mean, I'd imagine we have to count those things, right? Paintings. Three. Where's my piece of paper? Oh, no, my piece of paper. Ah, my piece of paper. Here we go. Paintings. Ah ha ha ha! Sneaky paintings. One, two, three, four, five, six paintings. Six paintings. Mops. One, two mops. Three mops. We're ignoring the brooms. Ah. Three mops. Just double checking. Three mops. One broom. Two brooms. Two brooms. And two skelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
a mallet. Freezers. This whole room is a freezer. Why do we need large freezers with even more meat? Oh, oh, information. Food safety guidelines. An instructional poster for anyone that works here. Surprisingly normal. They tag the meat ready to be butchered. Meat saw. A really big industrial saw. They must use it to cut entire carcasses. Ugh. Right, looks like, wait, wait, there's a button to turn it on. Meat push. Okay. So the racks. You, you shove them over there. Like, see how we could. Oh, no, we can't. All right. I mean, it seems like we've got to get this down that way, right? Okay. Right? that meat a little shove. Whee! Ollie Fox has done... Wow, look at that one go! Wee Bye! Ollie Fox has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, I'll catch you on VOD. I just wanted to drop in and tell you thanks for making my afternoons chill while I de-stress from work. Keep be lovely. Thank you, I will keep be lovely. You be lovely too. Um, You're very, very welcome. Uh, I, I hope your next work de-stressing goes very, very well. Um, thank you very much for the super chat. It's... <laughs> This doesn't feel like it ought to be relaxing, you know, but... Oh, no, wait. Did I even need to push these two? I don't think I did. Hmm. 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 I'll tell you what. If we go that way and then we. Push that back that way and then... This is so weird. Hmm. Hmm. This game of meat push is suddenly not so easy. Is... What if, like, this isn't a puzzle at all? And Alex is just like, well, it must be a puzzle. I must shove the meats around. You know? What if we're just being conned into this? I need to get this particular rack out of the way. Can I push it that way? No, I can't, because that's in the way. <clears throat> right. Have I used up as much space as I possibly can this way. Yes, it looks that way. Neko the Kitty is on Super Chat saying, had a thought, fixed cameras, overcomplicated locks, lab in the basement. Are we even are we in an evil residence? It feels like it. It certainly feels like it. Oh what if Can we send that one this way? No we can't. Now remember, folks, uh, don't offer me solutions until I ask for them, i.e. no back smeeting. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Can we send this one this way? We may. All right. Well, that's good news. Because then if we just shove this, this, fuck. Why can't we send that that way? That's what I'd like to know. We need to swap this one and this one. No backs meeting. Eh? Eh? Okay. 
Come from the Ford says that was awful. Can't believe you didn't say that was awful. <laughs> oh, for fuck. Oh, okay, okay, all right, hang on. Hold on. Come back, meat. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it won't go that way. It won't go that way. But can I send it that way then? No, not that way. It won't go that way. Huh. Dang it. I forgot I can sprint. Damn. Close, but no meat cigar. Okay. That one won't go that way. Maybe I can bring one of these down. What? And then may I... Damn! I mean, okay, so this one's a problem. We need to send it... And maybe, maybe completely screwing this up. And by may, I mean I probably am. Damn. Basically, all we need to do is... We've got to get this one out of the way. Which means we've got to move this meat. <laughs> which means we've got to move this meat, and this meat, and this meat. Right, let's work backwards a little bit. So, Ooh. God, this is weird. I mean, it, this game is weird, but in a game full of weird puzzles, this is a weird one. We've got to move this specific bit of meat. Which means doing that, right? Which then means we can do that. However, we've now got these racks of meat in the way. Yeah, that won't cut it. Haha, <laughs> funny, because it's meat and that's what's being cut. Yeah, I have... Um, I've kind of... <laughs> butchered this puzzle. <laughs> Alright, well we got more room over here now. So let's we move this stuff back up. Oh yeah 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 if I can move that back up. If I can push that back over. No, that's still a problem. Oh.
Right. So, oh, this meat's still not even in the place we want it, is it? Oh, but wait, hang on. Just fuck off. Big thing of meat. Wait a minute. Wait a meat meat knit. No, oh, you bastard. You little bastard. I'm making a really ham fisted job of this. Ha <laughs> ha. Did I get it out of the way and then push it back again? I got it out of the way and then pushed it back again, apparently. Alright. What am I fucking doing wrong? Carry choices, Johnny, please. What? <laughs> There's a lot of... What What if I just... I think this button will reset all the meat racks. Oh, okay. Eto Perinka has done a, a super chat saying, celebrating finally getting getting that ADHD diagnosis. Hey, congratulations. Have a pint with me. Brackets, thank you, internet. Uh, all the years of believing something was wrong with me can go down the drain finally. Glad to get so much dopamine watching you today. Congratulations, that is really wonderful. And I hope, um, I hope things go, bleh. I hope things go really well with you in your, in your sort of developing uh, treatment plan, etc., etc. Um, honestly, huge congratulations to you. That is great, great news. Well, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Should we reset the meat racks? Let's reset the meat racks. Okay. I was kind of hoping we'd see all of the racks go backwards. All right, so we've got to get the red tagged one to here. We know that. Wow, the red tagged one is far away. Goodness me. Oh, I kind of wish I hadn't reset the racks now. This feels like a very big job. Let's make some room. You are a problem rack. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I missed the super chat. Thank you. Oh, Pepin has done a super chat saying a Johnny stream on my son's third birthday. Yay! Happy birthday to your son. This is... Oh, I've missed a few super chats. Uh, I missed a couple of super chats, rather. Um, th this is not the kind of stream that, that I would normally try and do on a, a child's third birthday, but um, many happy returns to your son. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching. Wraith Finds is on a super chat saying, Morning, Johnny and other skellies. An hour into work, and it's already going to be a day. At least I have VOD Squad to look forward to. Enjoy your meat puzzle? I will, I think. I think, I think I will, I hope. Right, this channel here. I hate this rack of meat especially. Specifically. Right, this can go over. This can't go over, seemingly. Meat racks, baby. Meat racks, baby. Meat rack. It's unpleasant. This fucking meat rack, you know? What a pain. I'm not handling the stuff if I don't have to, thanks, they said, doing a hundred thousand different meat pushes. Uh, 
The meat rack, it's a little meat place where... We can get together. Meat rack, baby. Meat rack, baby. Hmm. That's a thought. Tidying the meats. Tidying the meats. It is quite disgusting, tidying the meats. No, don't do that. Mr. Tom for the Wind says, I got stuck on this puzzle for so long. I hate sliding block puzzles, especially ones like this. Yeah, it's, um, I think I'll, to be honest with you, I'll look up a solution eventually, I think. Just because, um, this isn't exactly thrilling viewing, is it? I hate this rack of meat in particular. That rack of meat in particular is out of my fucking way now, which is great if I can just... Why? Ah, oh, what's your problem, meat rack? Excuse me. Ugh. Seriously, meat rack, what is your problem? Edward Horseman has done a super chat saying, currently home from work due to illness, but silver linings, work is toxic, and it was my birthday last week, so here's some money to a wonderful person with a lovely community. Off to VOD Squad for me to catch up on last time. Um, well, belated happy birthday, Edward. Um, I'm sorry to hear you're off work, but I'm also glad to hear that you're off work. Weird as that sounds. Um, oh. um, enjoy the last stream. It got really weird, and then I'll see you... Um, I'll see you back here for this one. Okay. <sighs> we are... This, this fucking one won't slide. Which means... Okay. Uh, 
What is wrong with you, little meat bastard? Why? This ain't meat cute. Bad. Uh. Lucas says, small hint, Johnny. Sure, why not? Love you says arson. You love a bit of arson, Kate. Okay, the one behind the one with the red tag needs to be on the other side. This, this, this thing. Oh, it's this one, though. <laughs> no, the sideways one. Oh, okay. This needs to be on the other side. Okay, thank you. Oh, look. Oh, there we go, look. We're getting room for meats. For meat dable. Then can we... Oh! Ah! <gasps> Hooray! Thank you, Lucas. Finally. So now I guess I have to saw through this. It's fine, it's fine. Adding it to the list of things for my next therapy appointment. Well, oh, we got there in the end. Wait a sec, there's something shiny in there. Kitchen key. Of course, a key. A totally normal place to find one. All right, cool. That was annoying. Well, that wasn't annoying. We got there in the end. Oh, uh oh, where's Kai gone? Hey, birdie. Hey. <laughs> hey. Just lying on the floor. Hey. Okay. Minarisa has done a super chat saying, Hello, Johnny and Skelly. Thanks for the entertainment and happiness boost your videos bring on those grey days. Catch you later on VOD. Thank you very much, Minarisu. Um Yeah, uh, you're very, very welcome. Sorry about the grey days. Right, there you are. I got worried for a second. Sorry, I could smell the meat from inside the pantry. <laughs> Thought I would come out here for some fresh air. You all done? Yeah, I found a key. Nice, where was it? Inside a carcass. Inside? We can skip the details. You're already looking a little green. You good to go? I was, but yeah, I'm ready. Oh, well, I don't know what she said then. Kitchen, all right. We're in. Now to see what's going on in here. Mold. Ugh, can't even tell what this was supposed to be. There's a lot of mould, yeah. Recipe. Chicken fajitas. Added to inventory. Stove. Pestle and mortier. Gas main. Some exposed pipes. Recipe. Chicken madras. Added to inventory. Blackboard. Examine. Emma S has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of the pear. The pear previously had a mirror in its hand and then a mug full of blood. Um, now, it's got a pair of dumbbells, and it's doing this a lot, while also kind of jogging on the spot, and there's some text that says, keep it up. Thanks, Emma S. I'm a gunner. I'm going to examine these recipes. I've never made these myself, but the recipe looks dead easy. I love spicy foods. This looks delicious. Interesting. There's no, there are no notes on the back or anything. Blackboard examine. It's a blackboard with a week's meal plan. Some of these sound pretty dang good. Is it related to the puzzle? Better make a note. Poster added to inventory. Monday, fish fingers and pasta bake. 
Wednesday, cheese sandwich and crab cakes. Friday, chicken madras and beef stew. Saturday, clam chowder and crab cakes. Crab cakes twice a week. Why does the kitchen only operate four days a week? What do people eat on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays? Recipe for spaghetti bolognese. Tasty, I prefer carbonara, but I'll take it. Blenders, examine. They're not even plugged in. Doesn't look like I can do anything with these. All right. Valve, that's for the gas valve. Okay, that's for the gas main, rather. Okay, a recipe for beef stew. Mold, examine. All right. A recipe for farmer's lunch. I always thought a farmer's lunch was a sandwich. Maybe I've been making it wrong my whole life. Farmer's lunch, well, there's a plowman's lunch. No one knows what a farmer eats. Gas main. This should get the gas running. Why are we trying to get the gas running? Dr. Moss says one on vacation once where I somehow had crab cakes three times in two days. Dang. Fry basket. Up, down. Basket goes up. Basket goes down. Okay. Farmer's lunch is also a study recipe, says Eldritch Blast. Interesting. All right, all the gas rings work. I miss cooking on gas. I really do. Door's locked. But what's this wire? It looks connected to the stove, though. It must be related. No gas. Not going to be doing anything without that. We search. We have got gas, dipshit. Sorry. Rude. Do we know what day it is? Do we have to... Because look, all hobs, two hobs, two hobs, three hobs, three hobs. It's all the different permutations. Do we have to quote unquote cook a week's meals? But then we've got two different stoves. Oh, is that because we're, aha, wait a minute, okay. Fish fingers and pasta bake, not mentioned. Cheese sandwich and crab cakes, not mentioned. Chicken madras and beef stew. We've got those recipes. And from this tear, I reckon we may need to do the chicken madras on the right hand one. So chicken madras is that. Beef stew is that. Ta da! All right, well, we may need to add some more things. Hey. Oh, a recipe book. What's that? A recipe book. Some of the pages have been torn out. Think it's part of the puzzle? Recipes in a kitchen, 100%. Sauteed spinach. Oh, perfect. Where did you find this? It was sitting inside a pot. Noticed it just now. Good eye. By the looks of this book, there's six pages in total. One fewer now. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got them all. Okay. Huh. Window examine. It's got a little window like a diner. Okay. And we've already looked in there. Oh, do a save. Yes. Ha 
<laughs> Eleanor Smith is on a super chat saying, never thought I'd see cooking with Chiodini again. I know, right? Okay. So again, what I'm thinking is, we don't have the recipes for fish fingers and pasta bake, or cheese sandwich and crab cakes, or clam chowder and crab cakes, so it's got to be the Friday recipes, right? Let's try the other way around, maybe. So, we've already done... That's beef stew, and then chicken madras is this. And that does sweet F.A. But what if we did... Oh, great. There we go. I did it. We can leave now. Nice. Oh, I'm pleased that I've, I've worked that one out. I think we're almost out of here. The great room is on the other side of that door. Is this a prison? Dot, dot, dot. Alex, it's okay. It's It'll be okay. I promise. I'll get you out. Holding cell. Uh-oh. 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 Huh? What was that? Fuck. Whoa. Uh, looks like we're not getting out that way. Let's keep going. Oh! What the? This part of the floor sinks down. Do they all do that? Oh, you okay? Yeah, but these floor panels, they sink if you step on them. Why? Is this a puzzle? Probably. Yeah, alright, well. Let's see what we got. Jesus Christ! Whoa, get back! Are you okay? I mean, in general? Tonight? No? Which, but specifically with that, I'm fine. Looks like you can't go through this door with that bracelet thing. Stay here, I'll see what I can find to get you out of there. Uh, Alright, not much choice anyway. Hot dang. Okie dokie. Tally marks. What were, they even, what were they keeping count of? Something's off about those marks. I better make a note. Oh, look, it's arrows. Up. Right. Not up right, not sure. Down, down, right. Not sure. Right. <laughs> okay. No. Rules for a card game. Guess whoever was in this room had time to kill. Game rules. Okay. Heart never moves to club unless next to spade. Spade moves to heart unless diamond is available. Club will never move to club or heart. Diamond moves to club if heart is not available, otherwise free move. Absolutely none of that went in, but that's fine. Uh, what we need is additional context. A printout. Is this related to the test? BDC ABBA. No, BCD ABBA. BCD ABBA. Babbukda. Budkadada. Bukada abukada. Bada. Bada can't be asked. Okay. Bada C B A. Come on, this bit of paper. No? Okay. I worry about this. Because I think if we biff this, he's getting electrocuted. So let's save. Okay. One sec, sorry. Alright. Okay. 
we've saved. Let's start the test. There's a computer here. It says subject detected, and it's giving me a choice to start testing. Um, am I the test subject? I think so. Shit. I don't see another way out of here. I think we're going to have to start the test. What happens if we fail? We're trapped here forever? Dot, dot, dot. I'm not sure. I don't see any other way. Start the test. Okay, so he might die. It's got instructions. I'll read them out. Ask the subject to stand on the lit panel. Got it. Done. Inform the subject from the, from this point if they step off the panel. Oh, f whatever you do, don't move. Why? What is it? If you step off the panel in the wrong direction, you'll be electrocuted. Look, if he gets us out, I can tolerate to death. What? What do I do? I don't know yet. Give me a second to read the rest of the instructions. Okay. So the point of the test is to study the effect of memory under stress. Well, I am definitely stressed, so check that off. Subjects were given cards to memorise, which would tell you how to move on the grid. I haven't seen anything like that. No! Dot, dot, dot. I'm going to die. No, you're not. Stay where you are. The answers will be here. Okay, yeah, okay. Only move when I tell you to. Until then, hang tight. Ha! Huh? Not much of a choice. Okay. And the cards are doing fuck all. I'm missing something, aren't I? It can't... What's all this shit about the... Heart never moves to club unless next to snip. Test set B. Is this part of the test? I'm not just going to send him out. Or them out. Heart never moves to club unless next to spade. Spade moves to heart unless... I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing... I've... <laughs> I'm confused. Sarah Francis says, Don't feel bad if he dies. You promised him several times that you would keep him safe and get him out of, out of here. He is doomed. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> I'm very confused. Well, I'm not that confused, but... Elna Smith says, If we save William, we have no excuses for letting anyone else die. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Well, not for the vote of confidence. Thank you for the added pressure. But, excuse me. Mario Suni has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, I want to be a carpenter, but I'm not sure if that would work. I hope you're well. <sighs> Thank you very much, Samorio. I think you'd make a great carpenter, actually. Right, something odd about these tally marks. Remember, no give hint unless asked for them. I will ask for... Uh, 
advice in a French accent when I need it. Oscar Palmtree has done... This is your first ever Super Chat, Oscar. Uh, Oscar Palmtree has done a Super Chat saying, I don't usually comment on the streams, but I want to thank you for your videos and streams. They're super calming and really help chill my chill out my sometimes pretty unchill mind. You are very welcome. Um, thank you very much. That's really, really kind of you. Um, this is a pretty unchill puzzle, but I'm glad that, that watching it helps. Dr. Moss says, if I could offer one gold piece's worth of advice. Sure, Dr. Moss. Travelling Potato says, I can't even work out if we're overthinking or underthinking this one. Me neither. Because the thing is, right, we've got three, we've only got three and three um, tally marks. And this is a four by four grid. Wisdom says, Johnny, do you enjoy puzzles? I do. I, I, I genuinely do. I'm going to have to move my face for this puzzle. Uh, I genuinely do. Uh, streaming them can be stressful. Because, right, like, in, initially you think you start top left. It's telling us to go up, and then it's telling us to go right. Oh. Dr. Moss says, sorry, I don't have advice. I was referring to the French accent that would indicate you're actually asking for help. Of course. Uh, was it was it in, didn't mean to sound condescending. No, I didn't think you did. I didn't think you were being condescending. Do not worry. So this isn't just a go up there, then go that way thing, is it? Because also, if we went up and then along, the third mark on the thing says nothing. So then, oh yeah, what if we went down, 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 right, nothing. I'm curious to try it, but we will have to reload, because he will die. Okay, I think you just need to step onto that panel there. You think? Yeah. Not that I don't trust you, but are you sure? My life is on the line here. One move and I'm... Well, you know. No, I'm not sure. I was. Okay, I trust you, so... Actually, you know what? Let me take one more look. Just to make sure sure. Wait, no. I'm curious. My gasping was because, obviously, we're not just getting directions, we're getting one, two, three, up. So, like, what would... I'm just not sure about this shit. Three, up. And then, that would... the fifth mark to the right. And then, still not sure. And then the first mark down. Second mark down. Fifth mark right. There are no numbers on this. There are no numbers on these fucking bastards. But can we tell him to go into that one? Yeah. 
Metro pieces. What do the thing about the card suits say again? Heart never moves to club unless next to spade. Spade moves to heart unless diamond is available. Club will never move to club or heart. Diamond moves to club if heart is not available. Otherwise, free move. There is no five along, though. Yeah. Okay. Let's just... Let's just make extra fucking sure we've got everything. Because I'm confused. Like, why, why this piece of paper not friend? What this? Cannot open door? Can examine computer? We have got... We supposedly have everything we need to solve this puzzle. We also have the luxury of saving and reloading if we kill this man. Adeline says, my cat Pip is excited about this puzzle, it seems. Well, it's about to get a lot more exciting. One sec. Okay. With apologies for what I'm probably about to do. Yeah, let's do it. The last thing I'm going to do is put you in danger without being sure. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm sure that's the right panel. Okay, thanks Alex. This isn't the right panel. Oh my god, it's the right panel. And then I, I would like him to go. To the right now. The third tally mark is just plain, so I think we just ignore that, which means we're going to go down. And again, down. And then right. And then right. Step one complete. Two more to go! God damn it. Aha, okay. Right, I understand now. And we save. <sighs> okay. DBC. DBC. D or DBBD. D B B D. D B. Okay. Now with this one, <laughs> nice which says Abba, Abba, a hey, Cabba. <laughs> Middle lines got back. Very good, bovine. So if you look from the top row, left to right, D B B D. I don't see DBBD anywhere. 
horizontal or vertical. BACC, also not there. CDDB, no. Now, if we're going top line down, DBC, Dragon Ball Chris, it is there. It is the third column along. So, one, two, third column, you've got DBC, DD. That's the most I've got right now. DBC. And then BAD, B-A-D. I'm seeing BAD bottom left. B-A-D, A-C-B-A. B-C-D, before Commandeera, <laughs> is there on the line above. But what does that really give us? DBC. Tegan Evans says I'm seeing bad everywhere. Oh no. Mr. Brainy says, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure this isn't a word search. Hmm. Hmm. DBC, DBC, DBC. So what I'm thinking is, I can see DBC, third column, three letters, DBC. And then if we go to the next column, BAD, there are two A's, but only one B. So we could step on the B. So effectively our first move would be to go right. And then B, C, D. Oh, there's a B and a C. Fuck. Nice which says, Johnny, stop eating your cable. I wasn't even aware I was doing that. Maybe overthinking it a little. That's just... I think we're overthinking it. I'm always overthinking it. That's a problem. Kai is on B right now, Johnny. Yeah, I know. I know he's on B. I can see the dot. I wasn't even aware I was doing that. Eat more cable. Yeah, sorry. All right, hang on. I need to not look at this puzzle for a minute. Um... I'm just going to not, not look at the puzzle for a minute. Let's all not look at the puzzle for a minute. How was your weekend? Mine was fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was an okay weekend. No switch says, no, don't, don't worry about it, no switch. Okay. Karina Rain says, I mean, if one wrong move on my part meant a team got electrocuted, I might overthink. Yeah, fair. <gasps> nice, which is off until Monday. Hell yeah. That sounds great.
Ah. Okay. 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 Let's see. A puzzle. We're on the letter B. Mithril is on a super sticker. The super sticker is of a peach. But the peach is uniquely shaped. Well, not that uniquely. In fact, it's, sh its shape is very similar to that of a human bat. So there we go. Um, the lighting certainly increases the perception of bat also. Okay. Cheerful Spiders on a Super Chat saying, Happy Tuesday, I've been playing a bunch of Nanaka Crash this week. Remember that from like almost 20 years ago? Weird nostalgia trip, it's still online. No, I've never even heard of it. Hang on. Nanaka Crash. Absolutely no memory of that whatsoever, I'm afraid. Okay. Okay. The narrowboat dungeon master says, Dad has just asked why I'm bouncing. My reply, no French accent. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay, I'm going to talk in a French accent now. Could I have a little int? Just a little int. Do not tell me the answer completely, but give me a little clue that might let me have a breakthrough. The line of letters are path direction. Follow row four. I think it's just the rows. Peace. Which string of letters gets from left to right? Oh, I s okay. So look at row four. Oh, B C D. B C B C B D. One of the rows is the correct sequence, starting with B. Or just follow row four, like chat is saying, as it's the only possible one you can do on the grid. Okay. B, C, D. A, C, B, D. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I was overthinking it. I was... Oh, my God. I can't believe I didn't see that. These are all just possible move sequences. Why was I thinking of them as columns? I was thinking of them as, like, a grid. As in, like... You know, for fuck's sake. Okay, B, so B, yeah, B, C, D, A, B, B, that's not possible. B, A, B, B, C, D, that's not possible. B, D, that's not possible. Right, yeah, it's B, so B, fucking hell. Thanks, friends. B, C, D, A, C B D Okay. Orthogonalist says, I'm sure Kai is very pleased that Alex took a little break to ask the computer how its weekend was. <laughs> okay. Recessing grid. Right, alright. We're on a spade. Uh, spade moves to heart unless a diamond is available. A diamond is not available, therefore we should move to heart. Oh my god, I should save. Fucking hell. Uh, right, heart never moves to um, 
never moves to club unless it's next to spade. It is next to spade orthogonally and also diagonally. I hope, like, I'm glad that it's there orthogonally because if it was diagonal, I wouldn't know whether it was counting or not. Okay, so, heart never moves to club unless it's next to spade, so we move there. Club will never move to club or heart. So, club will never move to club or heart, so we could go that way or that way. Let's not. Let's move there. Spade moves to heart unless diamond is available. We can't go diagonally. I'm fair. Oh, we've not. Let's try it. That was terrifying. Heart never moves to club unless it's next to spade. It's next to spade again. So we're going to go that way. Club never moves to... Sorry, club will never move to club or heart. Oh, shit. Oh, that's fine, because that's a spade. Got it. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no! <laughs> that was great. Boo! Good lord. Aha, nice. Mr. Brainy says test three was a lot easier than I expected. Me too. Me too. Right. Phew, nice job. Bloody hell. You too, save my butt again. Literally couldn't have done it without you. I'm glad you're here. It feels like we actually might make it out. Uh, I don't know. It feels like I've just been lucky. Hey, you saved me twice. I wouldn't call that luck. It's nice that you're still optimistic after this. Let's get the heck out of here. You okay? Yeah, just a killer headache. <gasps> A killer's headache. Uh oh. We can take a breath in the. We can take a break in the great room. Maybe we should take a break. It's we've been going for an hour and a half. We'll probably be playing more than three hours today. It depends how quickly we finish the game. But uh, I could do with a little break after that. Uh, Alex, you made it. I was worried, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Says Torres. Yeah, we're alive despite this place's best efforts. Shipwreck says no. What do you mean, no? It was all another stupid setup. Torres, more puzzles, more mind games. But you survived, both of you, hello. Kai, this is Detective Torres. She's been helping me help others. Uh, hello, Detective, ma'am. Ugh, please, just Torres is fine. I hate being mammed. Did Alex fill you in? Sort of. Alex said we'd all angered some powerful people somehow. Did she? All of us, huh, Alex? Oh, all right, fine. Dust, dust, dust. Well, I've been racking my brain and I can't think of everything. Of anything, rather. I have uh, two super stickers. The first super sticker is of the pair is popular today. The pair is, is flying through the air like this with gloves on uh, and red boots. Red gloves, red boots and a red cape. It's like me as if it's some kind of super pair. Thank you very much, Garina Rain. Uh, I feel like I don't deserve that one, I'll be honest. Uh, Kimberly Allen has done a super sticker of the pair wearing a straw boater hat and holding a cane and kind of doing like a like a Charleston-esque kind of like <laughs> dance with the text, you are amazing. Also, I feel like I don't deserve that one, but thank you very, very much. That is very kind. So Mario Sunni says, it's super hero. Very good. Right. I've been racking my brain and I can't think of anything. All of us ha have had a common thread so far. What do you do, Kai? Like my job? I've just started college. I'm a part-time server at a place near campus. I volunteer at the animal shelter weekends. That's literally it. I'm almost criminally boring. That's not boring. There's got to be something. Okay, well, when you figure that out, I really need to sit down. I don't know what that what that goop they had me in was, but... Oh, of course, I'm sorry. Here, just relax. We'll work through it together. Alex, can you move that stuff so she can sit? Torres, do something with your fucking time. It's they! Can you imagine if we'd accidentally killed Kai? Can you imagine? Non-binary representation. Uh, Kate Lovey has done a super chat saying, Testing! Test received! Loud and clear. Five by five, Kate Lovey. Okay. It's they. Fucking love you, Kai. What? Oh, sorry. Alex, let's get them off their feet. Alright. 
We saved Kai. Phew. And there's our there's the nice witch's boyfriend, Charles. Uh, we'll talk to him after the break. So, uh, let's just save quickly. Um, you know the drill, or maybe you don't know the drill. The drill is five to seven minute break. I'm gonna go uh, get some get something to drink, uh, and I'm gonna go to the toilet, have a little stretch. When was the last time you had a little stretch? Are you mm, are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Are you too warm? Are you too cold? Is there something you need to do very quickly um, that you can do? If so, go do it, and I will uh, be back in five to seven minutes. Um, if not, there's going to be some smooth jazz and a picture of my dog. So, uh, yeah, let's have a little break, and then let's come back and play some more of the Tartarus Key. Nice, which says a drill is a tool or a machine with a rotating cutting tip or reciprocating hammer or, or chisel used for making holes. You do know what the drill is. Thank you. 
Hello everyone, welcome back to this stream on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's me, I'm Johnny Chiodini. And, uh, oh goodness me, we're still playing the Tartarus Key. It's a great game. Um, we just saved Kai from, uh, well, death. From a death trap. Um, and I'm very glad we did, because it turns out they're non-binary, just like me. I mean, obviously they, they deserve to live anyway. It would have been good if we'd saved them, but I'm doubly glad we saved them, because they're non-binary. So there we go. I got myself <laughs> nice, which says "A hey, Macarena Kai." Very, very good. Um, how was your break? I fixed myself a drink and got some cider, and um, I'm ready to crack on. Hey Kai, you rest up, buddy. Torres, you do some work. Charles. He's looking for a particular book. I won't get in the way. Damn it. Here's Ruth. How are you feeling, Alex? Not lightheaded? Dizzy? Hey, I'm not the person who started a night pump full of poison. Mm. Surprisingly, apart from smelling like vomit and really needing a stiff drink, I think I'm okay. Better than Detective Torres, anyway. Is she okay? I mean, really okay? Best as I can tell, it's driving me crazy not to have any of my equipment here. I don't think I trust anything back in that clinic you found me in. No, indeed. Eldritch Blast says, I haven't met Ruth yet. I didn't finish the last stream. Well, we saved her. Spoilers for you. Um, Lama Bing is on a super chat saying, I just want to say that the photo in the break is a very pretty photo. Thank you. It's quite old now. It was taken late 2019. So the pig, pig looks a bit different. She's kind of graying. She's going gray in her muzzle, which feels really, really weird. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, Lama Bing, for the super chat and for the compliment about the dog. Um, right. I'm glad you're here. Stethoscopes and tongue depressors aside, it makes me feel better to have a doctor around. Haha, <laughs> really? It's hard to feel like I'm being useful with you running around the, this place for us. You know, I never did care for those escape room things. This just clinches it. I've never actually been to one of those. My sister's kids took me to one for my 40th. You know, I have three degrees and that place made me feel like an idiot. 
Picture it. Me down on my hands and knees trying to figure out how to use a rubber duck to decode a message in Morse code. Turns out you were supposed to use the duck to unlock the coffin! Which was behind the phone booth to get to the xylophone! And use that as the decoder. Wow, that's, uh, a lot. Nothing compared to everything you've told me about this place. You see why I'm happy you're the one solving the puzzles. Yeah, fair enough. Well, so far I haven't hit anything like that, Knockwood. But when we got out when we get out of here, I'll still buy you that drink. Hmm? 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 <laughs> Linorn says, Whoa, spoilers, Ruth. Mr. Tom for the Winters, I know what it's like to be graying in the muzzle. Same, I'm, it doesn't look like it on camera, but I'm getting a lot of grey, specifically in the chin of my beard. Right, sweet, sweetheart, when we get out of here, I'm buying us the whole damn bar. <laughs> Just you see. They'll say, what'll you have? And I'll say, your whole damn bar. <laughs> here we go again. Oh no, not the voice. Oh yes, the voice! Uh-oh. Oh god, that spooked me. Was that the doorbell? Was that a doorbell? Dot, dot, dot. Is someone at the front door? The map said no escape, see? But somebody was at the door. Maybe they could get in. They were just being polite. What the fuck? Hello? Hello? Dust, dust, dust. Of course, nobody here. I'm getting really sick of being messed with. <laughs> Dactari says can't be a stream without the doorbell ringing. Very good. Hmm, this box wasn't here before, was it? Better show this to everyone. What if it's a trap? Back already? Fuck off, Torres. Back already? Uh, can you go do some more work? There was a box just sitting by the front door. Figured we should open it together. I don't suppose you managed to find a way out while I was gone. Yes, Alex, get her. Not yet, but I haven't given up. We must be missing something. <laughs> nice which says, what's in that box? We have to be. Yeah, I hope so. Anyway, you said that box was just sitting by the front door? Open it up. Let's see what this place has for us next. For us. For us, says Torres. A gun! Uh, a gun? You imagine if that had gone off. Really enjoyed the way she opened that box. Like, kind of how opening some board games, because their lids are so tight, you've just got to, like... Rah! Okay. Oh, fuck. William, what are you... Never do move. I told you, I told you. And now they're driving the point home. Only one person can win the game and get out alive. Jesus Christ, William. And I, I'm not dying, you hear me? None of us are, and none of us have to. You can't deny fate! No matter how much you might want to. This this was always going to be the outcome. I, I was foolish to even hope. Snurk. Ha! Sorry. Sorry. I know you have a gun. I just... This has been such a night, and... You know how dramatic you sound, right, dude? There's no such thing as fate. Daktari says, Guns don't go off like that, Johnny. That's not an 1850s revolver. Well, it could, it, maybe, it, maybe it could have. You know, maybe it could, maybe it could have. I don't know. Can you be certain? It's a fairly low poly gun. What if it doesn't have a safety catch? What if the hammer was back? I know, I know it because we're already beating that their own stupid game. What? Look, I know what you said that the rules are only one person makes it out alive. But we're here right now, all of us together. We've helped each other to get this far. William, we can do this. I know we can. We owe it to ourselves to try. I won't give up. I'll never give up trying to help people. To help you. Oh, tits. You're, you're so obnoxiously optimistic. No, Nick Jeffries in chat. Hello, Nick. What have I missed? Oh, Nick. 
Oh, Nick. We've been pushing some meat around. We helped an NB out of a tube. We made them play the chess game from... Whatever the... the... From uh, the fucking um, Incredible Games, the children's game show. We've done a lot. Uh, now there's a gun. I'm so tired, Alex. I'm old and I'm miserable. I'm not any better than the people who put us here. Why do you care? I mean, yeah, you're kind of a schmuck sometimes, William. But you're not... I don't need to die. I don't want anyone to die, goddammit. Speak for yourself, Alex. Every, every... Everyone in chat pretty much wants William to die. Nobody has to die. I won't let them. Alex, you make me want to believe in you. As foolish as that is. I think the gun's going to kill him. Hey, Torres does something for once. Give me that, you enormous asshole. Oh, what an evocative thing to say. Are we done making our big impassioned speeches? Did we get it out of our system? Because nobody is shooting anyone. Nobody is giving up. Not after everything we, Alex, has done. Torres finally recognizes that we've done everything. Rrrrg. I hate this touchy-feely power of friendship garbage. Rrrrg. I'm Torres, and I'm a big, mean detective. Rrrrk. I hate this touchy-feely power of friendship card. Rrrrk. <laughs> it's just not a noise people make. Rrrrk. Anyway, now you have me doing it. Well, that was uh, ex <laughs> exciting. I'm glad we're all on the side of nobody shooting anybody else. But we're still stuck in here, says Kai. Naka says, is Rrrg the new Awuga? N no. I think they're, uh... Oh, they're, they're two distinct feelings. Alex has been everywhere, right? Do we start prying down the walls? What's left? Ah, shit. Another tremor? Wait, what's that? Son of a... This is too convenient, right? Oh, absolutely, but is there an alternative? All right, everyone on the shortest field trip ever. <laughs> He's getting stuck in. Is that an elevator? Everyone, wait here. Alex, you can't go by yourself. Well, we can't all fit in there. Hey, I'm the only one who hasn't been gassed or injected or flesh walled. I just want to make sure it's safe. Well, as safe as you can be in a place like this. Dot, dot, dot. All right, just be careful. Once you're sure, come back and get us. Right back. Sip. I need to keep an eye on things anyway. If you need us, we'll come running. I'll be back soon. Bing! Ah! Oh. Look at you two. Oh no! <laughs> what happened to your friend? Doctor, you gotta help! <laughs> anyway. Uh, that painting again. Brooms, brooms, cupboard. Door, open. Oh, research and development. Map updated. Panel, examine. An exposed circuit. Looks like only one of these holes is correct. Toy box. That's ticking. T ticking giant toy box. Not at all menacing. Let's save. Okay. R and D. So, right. Toy box examine. Puzzles examine. I've seen all these puzzles before. Can't believe a tiny team was responsible for making all of them. What kind of person takes a job like this? <laughs> I should send that to my friend who literally makes escape rooms for a living. Making these things, knowing people will die? Blackboard examine. Schematics for some kind of circuit. Okay. 
Oh, is this where they've been monitoring us? Toy swords! Four toy swords? I'll just take these. Now we're talking. Four toy swords, four times the fun. Ma 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 What? A bomb! A bomb! Origami whale. An origami whale? I used to make these when I was younger. Hmm. No, yellow's a weird choice for a whale. Yeah, true enough. What else we got? Panel examine. An exposed circuit, only one, I mean, one of these holes is correct. Well, it should be that top right one, right? Alright, let's continue to gather data. Data! And then work out what we're meant to be doing. Oh, there we go. Locked. There's a note stuck here. You were late for the meeting, which means you get to test the puzzle. You know the drill. Solve it or die. Blah, blah, blah. Hot dang. That's not a good drill. A drill is the thing nice which described before the break. James Malcolmson. Bloody hell. James, James Malcolmson has done a big old super chat. Thank you very much, James. That's, that is um, very, very kind of you. Uh, get a flu shot if you haven't already. This year is one of grandfather's special brews. High fever, night sweats, nausea, muscle cramps, malignant prophecy, secondary head where you wouldn't think a secondary head would grow. It's rough. <laughs> Thank you, James. That is the most compelling and convincing uh, exhortation to get a flu jab I've ever, ever heard. That's fantastic. Uh, yes, Con from the Four, that was a Jean-Luc Picard reference. Data! Not very good at impersonating um, Jean-Luc Picard, but you know. I'm Patrick Stewart. I've watched him do Shakespeare twice in my life. He's very good at it, you know. Right. Solve it or die. Got it. Guessing t the right way to solve this is to insert swords into the correct sides. There's got to be clues around here. There are always clues. Don't want to get this wrong, especially with the ticking. Okay. Save. Save. Why is my phone buzzing so much? Fine. All right. So, unicorn side, top right. What's XD mean? Or is that meant to be like, is that an old school like MySpace crying laughing emoji? Let's do it. Push sword. Now the Fuchs. Where's that panel? This is the Fox panel. It looks like the bottom one. But it looks like the bottom one on that panel. Fuck it, let's try it. Wait! Eagle and whale. Origami whale. Yellow's a weird choice for a whale. And I agree. Now there was like a whale on that, but that's from a different puzzle. Whale and eagle. Ah, eagle! Bottom left, I'm guessing. Yep. It doesn't really show much about the whale. The whale, I mean... I mean, how much other whale stuff is there going to be around? <laughs> Captain Wolfos says, So if you get this wrong, will the whales nuke you? Uh-oh! I used to make these when I was younger. Yellow's a weird choice for a whale. There's nothing I can see on that that... I think I can see on that that suggests a direction, really. Because with the whale, it's either going in its tum-tum or its top-top. Well, what about these? Hey, <laughs> I'm a clown. Hmm. Hmm.
Hmm. Hmm. I needed to find out which hole to put the sword in. There had to be a clue. I had to save Alice. Hmm. Will's in chat. Hello, Will. Binders, examine. These binders are full of complicated schematics and what look like puzzle designs. Thousands of them. It would be impressive if it weren't so gross, considering what they've been used for. Yeah, that's fair. Barry was counting on me. I knew he was annoying. But damn it, he was my agent. And I needed to put a sword in a thing. I mean, it's 50-50, right? I'm just not sure what this is meant to show. Should we just do it? Yep. What's the fuck? Tetra P says, Ah, I got it. Oh, I'm glad someone's got it. Oh, what? Oh, there are three holes on the whale. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Ugh, clowns. Why did it have to be clowns? Is it holding a note? Let's see if I can take it without touching it. Ugh. The last thing I want, the last thing I want is a note from a clown. Hey, good job not dying. Head over and tell us what you thought of the puzzle. You know how to unlock the door. Shut up, clown. If I got this right, the door key should be hidden around here. Better than that. Wow, a book switch. Feels like you only see those in movies. Sub-basement entrance. Now we just need to find the dumb basement and we'll be away! It's, this door's different. Extra secure looking. According to the sign, it's the control room. Need an access key to get in. The clown was watching. Oh, fuck off the clown. Let's leave. <laughs> Will says, oh, the Dom basement is up top. Of course it is. It's just that there have been so many switches around this place that I, ha I haven't known which way is up. Science says this is the subject room. I'm guessing they're rec records of participants. Not getting in without an access key. Sounds like a standard, looks like a standard boardroom. There's another door in the back. Doesn't matter. Can't get in without an access key. An exit. This place looks safe. I should get the others. Okay. Oh, you can all get in the lift. Eleanor Smith says this has gone a bit Bond villain base. Indeed. No spoilers, but 
Has anyone else here seen The Pope's Exorcist? Specifically, like, the very final scene. Because, mwah. <clears throat> Rob Lambert says, William is still drinking? I don't think William ever stops drinking, to be honest with you. Oh, the same drink. That's probably a new the same drink. That's definitely an exit. The last thing in our way is shut tight, though. There's some kind of emergency lockdown. Nice, which says, one day I will see the Pope's Exorcist. Do it. Have a massive biff and then watch it. It's, my God, it's so good. You've got a plan? I think I can override it from one of the admin computers. Oh, I watched Pearl for the first time last night. That's a good film. Saw a sign for a control room down the hallway. With some luck, I'll have us out in no time. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, you do that. Keep me updated. Ah. Oh. Bloody Torres. Hey, Alex, can I talk to you for a moment? Sure, what's up? Will says, Johnny, have you seen Saltburn? No, I haven't seen Saltburn. I kind of... I got kind of put off it after I... Um, the... Director? The writer? Fennel, what's-her-face, said, it's not an eat-the-rich film, it's a lick-the-rich film. And I was like, I don't need to see that shit. So... Um, Pete Noctum has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, I hope you're okay. How does one concentrate on studying when they're having a shit time of it? Um, I would say just do it in like bite size chunks. Um, uh, maybe, t have you seen the, um, like the Pomodoro method? I find it's really, really useful. Um, you do 15 minutes of work and then you have a three minute break. And then you do 15 minutes of work in a three minute break. And during those 15 minutes, you, you can't like look at your phone or do anything like, you know, if you get distracted, look away for a second and then just, you know, look back. And then every four 15 minutes that you do, so every basically hour of work, you get a 15 minute break. Um, I find it really useful. There are free apps that can help you do it. Some people do it with 25 minutes of work and then five minute breaks. But I, I quite like doing it 15 and three. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear you're having a shit time of it. And I do hope that it gets easier to study. Um, just be kind to yourself also. Um, I think that's, that's the most important thing. If you do try the Pomodoro method, um, then, uh, I would thoroughly recommend every time the thing ends. So I use an app that when uh, it's time for a break goes ding, um, uh, uh, I go, that's a Pomodoro! And then and then take my break. Just makes me feel good. Bing! That's a Pomodoro! You know? Mm. Kate Lovier has done a super chat saying, would you be willing to stream this again and kill everyone just to see what happens? It would probably be pretty quick because you're not solving half the puzzles and you've pre-solved the rest. We could try it, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I kind of feel like just looking up the different endings would probably be quicker on YouTube, but still. Right. I just wanted to check in with you. You're, well, you're doing a lot for all of us. Oh, well, honestly, I really don't mind. I mean, obviously, I prefer not to be trapped in the evil death house. But uh, how do I put this without sounding? I guess, well, I've always felt really lucky. People have always taken care of me. My mum, my dad, then my grandma after they died. I'm sorry, Alex. Oh, it's, I mean, it's not okay, but it was a long time ago. Car accident hurts when I poke at it, but I've made my peace with it, you know? Um, but I've always had people around me who helped, even when they didn't have to. Friends, professors, that cute barista who always gives me a free cake pop when I get coffee. Hell yeah! It's just nice to be able to take care of others, finally. Feels good, you know? That's an admirable attitude to have if it doesn't get you taken advantage of. Up yours, Torres! Well, I guess I'd still rather be the person who needs... Who, who helps if it's needed, rather. Especially in a place like this. Designed to make you feel powerless, small, alone. Even more than escaping. If I could make sure nobody else ever has to feel this way, to me, it's worth all of it, you know? Alex. Oh, wow, that was a lot, huh? Sorry, I guess I've just been thinking. Anyway, really, I don't mind. I'm happy to do this for you. Um, all of you. Even William? Even him. 
but I have a lot of literature to send him, and he better read it. Heh, trust me. That's one old dog that's going to learn some new tricks. Okay. Just be careful, okay? You matter too, Alex. I will, I promise. Plus, I have a feeling like the end is in sight. It'll all be over soon. Admin keycard! Added to inventory. J. Steele. Okay. Bathroom! Bathroom! Oh. Someone scratched something into the wall of this stall. Watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me. It just goes on like that. My skin is crawling. Crawling in my skin. Because someone is watching. Boardroom! Clean up after yourselves. My god. Water bottles. Gimli O'Gloin has done a super chat saying, Have we considered the possibility that the house is literally alive? If yes, where does it poop from? I don't know, Gimli. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for the super chat and the fascinating question. Arrgh. I hadn't considered whether the house is literally alive, so I didn't think about where it poops from. Naka says the chimney, which is what I thought at first. But then is that weird? The coal shuttle, or the coal sheet rather, says Freya. Sylvius James says the back door, presumably. John Fire says poops from the drain pipe. Yeah. This bottle's a real glass and the name is French. That's how you know this water is really expensive. Asshole water, in other words. <laughs> Asshole water. Schedule. This looks like a schedule, but all the information is very deliberately Greeked. There are a bunch of doodles on the back of it. They look like eyes. Okay. Watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me. Director's room. There has to be answers there. Access key isn't doing the trick, though. Must be another way to open the door. Okay. If I was the director and I walked into this, I was like, why are the chairs all over here? Why has that one been knocked over? Why is nobody cleaned up? Why wouldn't you take your notes with you from the meeting? I'd send a very snippy email, actually. Right. Ah! The subject room is no better. Well, I guess that's the house pooping. Oh man, I would kill for a cup of coffee. Even if it's stone cold and has been sitting here for who knows how long. Alan Wake? Is it you? No, steady Alex, you're better than that. Alright. These binders look like product product inventory? No, wait, it says product, and all the information is heavily redacted, but... Heavily redacted binders? That's what I call my... Are these logs of the people who have been through this before us? There's so, so many. So many who have died. I don't have time for this. Yeah. All right. Email. Read. From Director A. Johnson to K. Peterson, S. Roberts, 79 others. Subject, small tremors. <laughs> I've been hearing that some of you have concerns about structural stability following some of the annoying tremors we've been experiencing. Let me put those concerns to rest by reminding you how impenetrable this manor is. A tank couldn't bring it down, much less some little quakes that don't even register on the Richter scales in town. This place has stood for over a hundred years, and I dare say it will be here long after we are all dead. Alright, thanks, Director. B. Armitage to Director A. Johnson. Subject, re, 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 we've got big problems. Look, bro, I'm not going to argue about this with you anymore. I am not telling them their fancy fucking set designer tripped down the stairs and broke his neck right before showtime. They'll call off the whole they'll call off the whole thing this cycle and they're not just gonna pat us on the heads and say it's okay, we'll try again in five years. Do I have to remind you what happened to Jones? How you got promoted? And for what? Because of some broody graffiti in a room none of them will even see? Look, I checked the notes, and the only thing left is that obnoxious floor painting down below. That's it. And you and I both know nobody else goes down there other than their ritual artisan. It's just more ego stroking bullshit. 
We have the project notes, right? Just send Reed down there and have him painted up after he drops off the last player. Tell him we'll pay him extra. He's a greedy meathead. He won't ask questions. Then, after the event, we can tell them what happened and they won't even care because they'll have time to train up someone new for the next event. For now, just keep your mouth shut. Hmm. Well, dang. This is a toxic work culture. This seems safe. Control room. Why's it gone all dark? Here we go. Let current known issues clear in T1. Rewire lab 01 fuel. Plumbing needs replacements F1. Subject team layoffs, fire alarm issue, full lockdown requires manual server override. And there's, whoa, and there's some things. Cables, pick up. Heavy duty cables, these must have been used on the servers. I'll take them with me just in case. That's a lot of cabling. Oh, I have a torch, of course I have a torch. Thank you, Kate, love you. I forgot about my torch. Okay. Okay. Can't seem to change these, but they might be useful. Computer table examined. This looks promising. A computer this large has to have access to the exits, which would be handy if it would turn on. It refuses to boot without the correct server connections. Okay. Well, we can manage this. Boop, 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 boop. Is it... Well, that can, uh, correlates with these. Boop, boop, boop. We've got to have... There are three. This one. This one. And the big one. No, not the big one. The fourth one. And the green one. This one. So this one. This one. And this one. All right. Server connect. Server connect. Server con Okay. All right. We got it. We got it. We got it. So, plus. Plus symbol. And horizontal pill symbol. And vertical pill symbol. Vertical pill. It's a data port. Data. Luckily, I have just the cable for the job. I should be able to connect different servers together. Now here's a rum thing. So plus horizontal vertical. That's horizontal and vertical. Where's plus? Some of these don't seem to have Where's the email? Read. K. Peterson to J. Thomas. Subject. Player emergency. There is no player for the ground floor west wing section. The player that was supposed to be there was that genetic scientist they caught leaking info on that online forum. He's gone. Gone, gone. Dead. Reed was vague, but apparently he knew he was being followed and that he was going to be next and there was an accident. Goddamn Reed. We cannot have an empty play area, so Reed was told to grab the first person he found. This explains why we're here. This is just so sloppy. We spent all that time designing that room for that specific schmuck, and now we just have a random schmuck. It's just sloppy. We gathered what intel we could on this Kai person, so I'm attaching that here. Do what you can, but if you can't come up with any new props or puzzles to tie it all together, well, blame Reed. This year's game has gone com has completely gone to hell. First we had to shoehorn in that fancy bastard just because he pissed someone off. Now this? I've put in so many late hours trying to fix this, I think it's messing with my head. I keep having these weird dreams, seeing things out of the corner of my eye. All the stupid ghost stories they tell you just to justify their little egotistic production here must be finally getting to me. Hmm. I need a vacation. Alright. 
So the cu my current problem is that I need to connect to the plus symbol server, but there's no plus symbol, and these are identical, which looks weird. So whether there's more stuff to be found, I know not. Email from to Director A. Johnson. Founders goals. Alison Vassalbauer has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, just stopping by quick before I have to get back to work. Looking forward to watching this later on VOD. Thank you very much, Alison. That's really lovely of you. Um, I hope work is going all right. And if you're watching this in VOD, hello from the past. Alan Smith says, so Kai was the rando? We're here on purpose? Yeah, it seems like it. Huh. You've been told before, it's not your job to question things. Whatever fantastical mumbo-jumbo you might have heard third-hand from some of the older members about the impetus of our great organisation, it has always been about entertaining the rich and powerful. They call themselves the Tartarus Society for crying... They, sorry. They call themselves the Tartarus Society for crying out loud. What part of that says discerning and well-adjusted to, to you? When we hired you, we gave you the most advanced technology and resources money could buy to craft that entertainment. And when I get long emails from you babbling about demons and dreams and shadow in the shadows in the stage we built, I am not entertained. Take this as your sign to course correct. The board appreciates your work and your discretion thus far. The game is starting soon. Do not disappoint us. I'd so hate for us to have to find another director. Uh-uh. Oh, wait a minute. I've actually hooked up a, a wrong one. Bizarrely, I don't think any of our ones are actually on here. Because those were the right colours, weren't they? Yeah, red, and blue, and yellow. Yeah, we need pink and orange and green. So it's. I think it kind of has to be that. What the fuck? Oh, <gasps> oh, hang on a minute. You can wipe them. So if I then right, if I do that, come on. I think we can basically make these be what we want. Do you see what I mean? No, not... Yeah, okay. And then this goes to here. That makes pink! Pink. Okay, there we go. So now we need to make... This guy and this guy. Alright, there we go. So we need... Circle... And, uh-oh. Can we then take this off? Yes! Damn! No, I fucked it up. Okay. If I then remove... Damn! Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Okay, so... Meep. 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 That makes pink. And then if I remove that and that... No, it wipes it. So we need to keep them... We need to keep them connected. Okay, that's all right. We can do that. So. We need to make green. So let's make green over here. Because it's next to blue and yellow. You know... No, I don't need that. This. Okay. One. Okay. So we've made green. We now need to make orange. We need to make pink. Okay. 
Orange. Now we make pink. I've made them! Will it boot now? Still nothing. Without the server connections. Is there like a button to make go? Oh, that's a good noise. We need some sort of boot button, a booten. <laughs> and I went and says totem. That's a blast from the past. Totem. Oh, whoops, shouldn't have done that. Mm, totem. Okay. Pietro P says infrastructure administration is easy. Looks looks like. Yeah, absolutely. Seems like a piece of piss. Don't know why everyone's been complaining all this time. Right, we've ma so we've made them. But how do we make that mean something? Are these servers connected to anything? Oh, there's a bottle of asshole water. Yeah, <laughs> James Malcolmson says, with the sheer number of tasks in this murder house, one of the Illuminati is definitely Alex Horn. <laughs> Funny, I enjoyed that. Craig M says, that is the worst IT install I've ever seen. It's not that pretty, is it? Um, okay, I'm going to... Ah, servers examine. Oh man, look at this stuff. It's all top of the line hardware. What I wouldn't give for the time to dig around in the guts of these. <laughs> well, I was going to talk in a French accent, but I feel like I'm missing something. Email. No, we've already done this one. No, I'm going to do... Um, does anybody know how I can uh, input the solution? Is there a button to make it go? Anna P. Gabriel says, maybe the order is wrong. Oh, I think they have to be done in a certain order. Okay. I think you've got to match the colour's position on the screens to the one in the rack. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Was it worth double-checking the symbols? Yes, it is. So we do have to do pink, and then we do have to do orange, and we have to do green. So we've got green, we've got orange, we've got pink. Are they in the right position is a good question. But, this, like, so if we did pink top left. And then orange. All right, from left to right, we'll do pink, orange, green. So pink, orange, green. Right, stop that immediately. Right. Pink. No. No. That's orange, Johnny. Dipshit. Pink. Orange. Grain. There we go. I think that did it. I've reset the server connections. 
Yes, I'd say that did it, Alex. It's fairly conclusive. Should be able to access the central computer. <laughs> Brave! Sarah Wilkins says, I've seen worse IT setups. I once worked in an office where you had to unplug the printer if you wanted to leave the room. What? Huh? Weird. All right. Computer to Ooh! You're all going to die down here. I did it. Now, where's the exit? Damn. This is a reference to an exit. There's a reference to an exit lock, but it's in the director's room. Luckily, I can unlock their door. Just one more stop. I'm so close. Hang in there, guys. and getting you out, I promise. Brave! Have I actually done it? Or... Better not touch it. This data is fragile enough. Okay. Have I unlocked that room, though? It's a basement hallway. Where's the stupid boardroom again? I have. Great. Okay. Save. Pietro P says, I do appreciate that the color-coded puzzles also have symbols added for colorblindness accessibility. Yes, I noticed that also, and it's good. Okay. All right. My phone go. Why phone go? Why phone go so much today? Okay. <clears throat> right. Oh, fuck. It's... Why would you chop one painting up into so many different paintings? Oh, shit. Bottles examine. Whoa, these are mostly empty. Someone's hidden the bottle a little heavy. Good, I hope wherever they are, they choke on it. This is a real shame. I'm actually a deer expert, and, and deer only do this when they're really distressed. <laughs> a skull! Oh, a TV remote. A remote. This must turn on that big TV. Director's remote control. Added to inventoire. Director TV. Turn on. A blueprint page, page cross-section view of somewhere in the mansion. Where is that? The stairs? Arrows? Why is it here? Okay. Next slide. That looks... Maybe it's that barrel room. Ah! An abstract painting. Very different from the rest of the decor. The pattern looks familiar. It's... Is it the monitors again? Maybe? Why, if it's a remote, do I have to go up here? The Vitruvian Man. Uh, wait, no, that's not... No, that's the Vitruvian Satan. Looks like it cycles now. Got to be a clue there. Oh, has there. It's got to be a clue there, has there. The fuck? Holograms. Terrible wire management. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. Right, is there anything else? <gasps> A watch? Could it be the clock killer? More like the expensive mansion killer. Okay, right. Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. I assume this shit has something to do with... with this room. I'm not going to charge off to another point. Well, these are mostly empty. Blah, 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 blah. There are other things we can examine. It doesn't feel right that we're, for the first time in this game, getting a clue that requires us to go somewhere else. These are all books on theatre and design. Stuff about symbolism and art too. They look well worn. Were these used as research on set design? 
Please hold your theories and suggestions until I talk in an offensively bad French accent. Oh, look. Bat, 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 up. Uh. Yeah, look, it's, it's this wall. You've got painting, painting, three little paintings. Painting, painting, three little paintings. Painting, painting, painting. Painting, painting, painting. So far. Director painting, examine. Hmm, like the picture. This must be it. A hidden control panel. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's unlocked something important. Main gate access point. Digital override available. Are we actually getting out of here? I should check back with Torres. But what about the other things? Vitruvian man! Okay. Torres! What? Good news? Yeah, I've managed to get it open. Are you saying we can leave? Yeah, that's right. Everything okay? Just a nagging feeling. Probably nothing. It's been a long night. No, this seems too easy. Yes, it has. What One we've only managed to get through thanks to you. Which is why I'm asking you if you're ready to leave. No. I'm sorry, but no. Excuse me? This doesn't feel off to you? Us just waltzing out without answers? On the contrary! I'll do the electric slide out of those damn doors as soon as you get a move on. We can't just leave. There are so many things unanswered. I confess I agree. Yes, Charles. The universe has enough mysteries without us leaving this one unsolved. Could you really live with yourself if you left without bringing this to light? Did all of you collectively hit your stupid heroic heads while I wasn't looking? Good God, this isn't some grand conspiracy, or uh, another one. I mean, it is. Yeah, says one of the rich dicks who put us here. Yes! I beg your pardon, but I had nothing to do with your current predicament. I would have been very grateful not to have met any of you. Dot, dot, dot. No offence. Yeah, well, all I know is without Alex, I'd still be down there. Alone in the dark. Yeah, how was Kai meant to get out of there? I mean, how none of them were, were meant to get out of the puzzle without Alex, but Kai's was particularly... Anyway. I don't want to think about that happening to anyone else. Alex, for someone I just met, you have earned a lot of my trust. If you think we should stay, I trust your judgment. Agreed. Oh, uh, wow, that was unexpectedly emotionally heavy. Look, that means a lot, but I'm going on alone. What? You most certainly are not, young lady. I'm not risking everyone's lives based on a gut feeling. If you don't hear from me in the next hour, I want you to go. Alex, please, at least let me help you. Yes, Charles, you can help, actually. I need to feel as if I've done something to repay you. I didn't save you so you could owe me, Charles. Just look after each other, okay? I'll be back soon. Dot, dot, dot. You will come back. I've never met a tougher person. We'll see you real soon, Alex. If you change your mind, we'll be here. Stay safe. Save. Save! What's left? Exit? There are two more pictures in Kira Cox says is Kai Enby. Yes, they are. Let's talk to everyone one last time. Yeah, let's do it. Are we quite done yet? My feet are beginning to hurt with all this walking. Your feet? I'm the one who's been trudging all over this place. Oh, and it's so stuffy in here. Would it kill them to run a humidifier? Is that really your biggest concern right now? Well, pardon me for being concerned about the necessities. Look, all I want is to be a far, as far away from this place as possible. As soon as possible. Surely you can understand that. Oh, trust me, I've never felt more kinship with you, and I'm sure I never will again. We'll save Charles. We'll save Charles until later. Hey, Kai. Hey, Kai, what are you thinking about? Look serious. Oh, I guess. Torres is telling me about some of the things you said you'd seen here. You know, like the stuff with the mirror and Charles. It's okay, I don't know if I believe me either. Oh, no, it's not like that. I was remembering a friend I had in junior high. She was always into, you know, weird stuff. 
like conspiracies, the occult, ghosts. I think she even tried to start a podcast at some point. Heaven for forfend! <laughs> anyway, I was thinking, do I owe her an apology? Like, do I need to look her up online and say, hey, you were totally right? It's true, all that crazy stuff people used to give you crap for in school. Then I started wondering whether she would believe me if I told her everything we've been through. Yeah, honestly, I'm torn. Should I write a best-selling tell-all and retire on royalties? Or bury all of this deep, deep, deep down? Let the authorities worry about the rest. Well, when you figure it out, you let me know. Okay. Ruth. The more of this place I see, the more I don't get how it was able to happen without anyone noticing. Indeed. With enough money and power, you can probably make sure people don't notice anything. And yet, I ran a red light on a deserted street at midnight. All to get to the clinic for an emergency call, and I still got a fine in the mail. You know, these past few years haven't... Sometimes I question what I'm doing. Not the helping people, just whether it makes that much of a difference. Mm. Uh, I mean, there are so many people out there hurting. Sometimes it feels like the whole world is falling apart around me. Ruth. A place like this should make me feel small, futile, but for some reason it just makes me feel more determined to do whatever I can. However much I can, as long as I'm still standing. So don't give me those big baby deer eyes, Alex. I'm going to be fine. We all will be. I'll make sure of it. And then we're having a drink. Cat M says, do you need a hint on where to go? No. Not yet. I'm just sort of talking to people. I'm going to talk to Charles now. Charles is so tall. Alex, how are you holding up? You must be exhausted. Gimli Ogloin asks, can I give one small but important advice? Yeah, all right, go on then. Can't thank you enough for everything you're doing for us. I feel quite useless. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Oh no, listen, I'm the only one here who hasn't been put through some sort of weird physical trauma tonight. Honestly, I'm happy to help. I'll be happier when we're out and I can grab something to eat. I'm starving. Heh. Sure, Charles. When we get out, that's the first thing on my list. Why is he saying Charles... Why is he saying to himself, I often keep these for when I'm too engrossed in work to eat. Not sure when I got this one. And it's a little uh, worse for wear, isn't it? Very um, flat. But uh, please, take it. Wow, um, thanks, Charles. That's... Well, it's very sweet. When we get out of here, I'm treating you to some real food. Parley kill. Parley kill. Understood, Gimli. I will not overwrite the save I just made. Save. Not that one. This one. Save! Okay. Okay. All right. Now then, what's this bullshit? Leafs. Leaves. Now, were these just red headings? This one I'm curious about. Because it says a cross section of somewhere in the mansion. It looks like the, the room with all the barrels in it, maybe. And then there's some stairs. You know? <laughs> but the... The barrel... There isn't, is there a barrel room? Circle room. <laughs> when I switch, it says, ah, yes, circle room. So is it about vending machines? Something about the idea of people... Yeah. A pinter. Hmm. Should we go back up? I feel so ah, forgot about this bit. Fucking hell. Fuck off, clown. Do we go back up? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. It's circular. Pietro P says, um, did I just, did I get turned around? Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, that wasn't just me. Because we got to the lift through R&D, right?
Dun dun dun. Barrels! Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to look. I forgot to look at which one. I think it's this one. These barrels kind of resemble the director's diagram from the office. There are no coincidences in this place. I'm opening it. Ha ha! A secret passage! I'm not surprised, but phew, that air smells so stale. Guess I should crawl through? Naka says at this stage I'm sprinting for the door. Hidden crypt. Ah, God. So we need to find the big Vitruvian goatman and then make his penis glow? Small pedestal. Where was the inscription? Inscription examined. QWERTY Presser has done a super chat saying, Good day all, I show up just in time to see Alex Charles in a hot tub? How things have changed since last episode. <laughs> Thank you, QWERTY Presser. Yeah, we're near the end, I think. The path to hell is revealed with the offerings of the damned. Choosing to ignore any inherent symbolic meaning there. Yeah, fair. A little statue? An angel statue? Added to inventoire. A statue of death? Sitting on the opposite side to the angel statue. For some reason, there aren't any spider webs on these statues. It's like the spiders stayed away. Or the statues haven't been here long. What we got here? Statue dials that we can rotate. Yep, very good. Very good. Inscription examined. There's an inscription. The path to hell is revealed with only the offerings of the damned. Choose the damned. Should we sort of just do that? I didn't do anything. Coffin! This looks ancient. I can barely make out the inscription on the lid. Service in suffering. Reward in death. Man, I hate these people. Mummy! Examine. I swear, if one of these things starts moving, I'm going to lose it, and not in a way anyone will like. Please be fake, please be fake, please be fake. Yeah. Mummy? Mummy? Can you tell me the answer to the puzzle, please, Mummy? Alright. Well, that did dick all. Well, now I can't. Now I can only have one of them in my hand. Which is odd. I can't just pick that up now. I have to. I'm just swapping them. All right. So let's leave that as it is for now. Statue dial rotate. Great. I would love some sort of info about how these are meant to be arrayed is the thing. Hmm. Let's see. Small pedestal! <laughs> is this the same inscription we're examining? It must be. I mean, let's double, double, double check. Yes, it is. Wait, what? Oh, for God's sake. Wait, these symbols definitely weren't here before. What's making them appear? More fancy electronics like I saw in R&D? I hope so. Hey, hey! Okay. Great. So we've got this guy. Um, or is it meant to be got that dude, that thing and that thing. Okay, well, should we set all of them to that? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> brave! Okay, so let's not set them all to that. Set it to... 
Zed, Zed fellow. Triangle thing. Then tic-tac-toe. But how do we make a third set of things show up? Because that's just those two. There's a third statue. There it is! A gargoyle? Oil? A loose statue like the others. Must have been sitting on the middle pedestal at one point. Oh, bollocks. Well, I've been picking up weird crap all night. Why stop now? Okay, so death was the first one. So we've got the first one right. We need this one to be the angel one. Actually. And then, gargly goyle. I think this is a gargoyle? That or one ugly dog. I found it behind a coffin. I assume it was moved from the central pedestal. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. These symbols definitely weren't here before. What's making them appear? More fancy electronics like I saw in R&D. What fucking symbols are they meant to be? Alright, I think I know what the last one is. I think the last one is that. The middle one... Isn't that. I think it's that. And the t first one... I think it's the triangle thingy, thingy me again. No, it's not. It can't be. Well, this is annoying. Gargly Goyle, this is very, very annoying. Maybe the middle one is wrong. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. I've done it the wrong way around again, haven't I? Because this one's the angel one. And then I was meant to do the gargly goil in the middle. Silly me. So, this one is like this, and then like this, I hope. And then... That's anyone's fucking guess of that one. Hey! There we go. Mm. Stairs! Stairs go down. Sealed crypt. James Malcolmson has done a super chat. Which reads, love the game, but if this was D&D, &D, the players would be giving the Dungeon Master some real, the loot better be worth it, side eye about now. True, yeah. What's that? Some kind of rod? Doesn't look old enough to be buried with this poor person. Handle. Right. What else we got here? Mechanism. What's this? Looks like a handle fits in here perfectly. Great. That was not difficult. Anything else, though? Just for fun? Nope. Okay, dokie. Uh oh. Ah, fuck, we've got to fight Havel. <laughs> well, haha! <laughs> Funny. That's a lot of stairs. Not going back now. I have to see this through. Okay. But what if we go. Uh oh. Okay, well, there we go. Jan Hansen says, or oh, Ring Girl. You mean Sadako? Or Samara, I suppose, if you want to go with the American remake. Okay. This is ridiculous.
Cave lake. Cave sigil. Stone tablet. Looks a lot... Looks a lot like a one. Alright. Cave sigil swap. What is this? Cave stone pedestal. Examine. Okay, this looks decidedly less high-tech than the stuff in the mansion. So, how... Do I... What the fuck? Torres would probably say that was done with lights or lasers, but the air in this place feels strange. Heavy. Charged. It's all going a bit Hobbs Barrow, isn't it? What do I do? That's a bit of fun. Wait a minute. Magic ring. Rotate. I just moved that with my mind? Ah, oh, fuck. Ugh, my head. Feels like something's digging around in my skull. Okay, I think I've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this guy needs to go in the middle. So this one... Where did that go? Oh no, oh no. Oh actually, that's not terrible, I don't hate that. But this fucker... Wait, no. We like this one. And we want it to go here. That's good. We like that. And a corner piece here seems good. Corner piece there, really? Right, rotate this. And then... Swap this. For this... Wonder what these shards are for. These three shards are for. Hmm. Snow Ninja Sandcat says, jump in the water, see what happens. I cannot. Haywire says. Oh shit, hang on. Oh, the pedestal is lighting up. I should try getting all three shards to glow. Okay. One, two. Okay, well, in that case. Aha, 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 aha. This one ought to go here. And this one wants to go here. Now I have fucked it. What did what what did I just mirror? Ah, uh, no. Mirror. Snarf. <laughs> oh, I made myself laugh. I got two out of three. Up, up, up. I just don't understand how that doesn't work. Okay, all right. <sighs> oh, so the light starts here. Okay. All right, so actually... Oh, right, so it's starting there. Okay, so that is the right place for that. And then it's going... Ding, ding, ding. Do 
two of the shards are glowing. Yeah. Tell me about it. Oh yeah, hey why I said, why do I get the sinking feeling we're about to get a terrible ending in which Alex's curiosity leads to her unsealing the prison to an ancient and terrible demon? You know, in Tartarus. Yeah, probably. Probably will, yeah. To to be honest. Um What the fuck is that? Oh. Um No, no, no. Casual reminder, everyone. Uh, I use they, them pronouns. Or rather, my pronouns are they, them. It's not that I use them. Those are just my fucking pronouns. Uh, please adjust your brains accordingly. Ah, now that's a thing. That's where our missing... That's where our broken link is. Is it this that needs swap? With... Surely not with that. I'll try it, but I'll try anything once me, eh? No, that's a fucking heaping pile of bullshit, that one, Johnny. It feels like what we need is a three-pronged one over here. Well, I've made that I've made that worse now. Oh wait. There's a three there's a three-pronger over here. Yeah, fuck it. All right. Uh, fucking that goes in there. Sure, why not? That goes in there, maybe. No, that's kind of the same problem. What? Well, that's still two. Gigi Roland has done a super chat saying, "Hey, Johnny, wanted to share." Just finished building my first PC. Did you know games were so pretty? It felt like I just got glasses for the first time. I know, right? They're bloody lovely. Okay, well that's no good. We've got a three for there. I feel like this one really has to be a three, three one. I need to not look at this puzzle for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to not look at the puzzle for a couple of minutes. Should we have a couple of minutes break, actually? Because we're going to keep playing. And it's been another hour and a half. Let's have a couple of minutes break. Just like a quick one. I'm just going to pee and uh, top up my drink. Um, and then... Brrr, um, we'll crack on with laser, laser, puzzle laser. Back in two minutes.
Hi! Welcome back to uh, the Tartarus Key. <laughs> Welcome back to youtube.com forward slash the Tartarus Key. I'm the Tartarus Key. Today we're playing Johnny Chiodini. It's mid. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Uh, we're playing the Tartarus Key. It's fucking great. Hold the phone. I'm a curios. Uh, what if we did swap this and this? Right. And then we just did that. That. And then we did that. Yeah. And then we made it worse by being bad at it. You know? What if we just did that? That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah, that hasn't really helped. Oh, but we've got a three for here. Oh, hang on a minute. Burp. Do we need a three for there? We do. That's where we need one. Or do we? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Light comes in. We, You know what? I'm going to swap these back. Light comes in. Light hits friend. Hits corner pieces. Mm, yum yum corner pieces. But there is no connection here. It's almost like there's a a secret extra fucking piece that gives us another three fur, but I don't think there is. <clears throat> Kate Lovio has done a super chat saying, Going back to join VOD Squad, stop to talk with my kid about their semester finals. Lots of stress for a 14 year old. My solution for whatever, whatever you're up to is, of course, arson with lots of love. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Kate. Um, uh, Semester final sounds like a lot of stress for a 14 year old, and I hope um, they get through it okay. Hold on. Is that the way I wanted to do it? Yes, it is. Is it? Cock. Oh, I've made it worse. I could have sworn that was going to work. But this side works now without a... Without a three fur. Oh. That, but... Okay. <laughs> so we've got a different two out of three. And then if we... What if we did this? There we go. Mmm, got it. Why, everyone... Sorry. Why phone blow up so much? So popular. Also, I haven't taken my one second video for one second a day, so. There we go. Alright, done it. I'm so professional. I don't know if it's smart to keep going deeper into this place. I don't think it is either. <laughs> nice, which says that's Johnny checking the walkthrough. If I had checked the walkthrough, then that was fucking great acting. But I am so close, I can feel it. I mean, we're going to keep going. And then I reckon we'll reload and see what the ending is if we just walk out. <laughs> Louis Furman says, cast it into the fire! Destroy it! No. 
Oh, shit. Oh, no. Are you Chaos from Hades? Oh, oh. Oh, it's all gone a bit. Okay, all right. <laughs> Emma Benton says, nice little gazebo. It was quite nice. It is lovely, actually. Anyway, let's go talk to this. You're bound. You're bound up. Like some sort of maybe demon? Well, let's just talk to you. Ugh, my head and guts feel like they're being churned. What is this place? And hey, who the hell are you? Hey, hey you! That's like a cut-rate Bruce Willis. What the hell is going on here, man? Were you in on this? The hell did you do to me? This ain't what we agreed on. Rrrrg! <laughs> if I could just move... Rrrrg! <laughs> I'd actually forgotten about Rrrrg. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened to you? Don't act dumb with me. This is supposed to be part of your little show, you perverts. Well, I ain't playing. What did you do to me? Shit Rexford says, is that the clock killer? They've kind of stopped talking about the clock killer to the extent where maybe we were just chasing a red herring. Was it something in the paint? What is this? Just hold on, okay? I'll figure this out. And I'll, I'll, you know, you. I know you. You were, dot, dot, dot. You were in my room. Oh my God, you're the one who brought me here. Stop flapping your lips and get me the fuck out of here or I'll, I'll. Dot, dot, dot. You really can't move, can you? Is this how you wanted us to feel? Powerless? Helpless? Hey, hey, look, this was... It's nothing personal, okay? It's just a job. You, you get it, right? Come on, help me out of here. I can't... I can't move a muscle. Dot, dot, dot. Help me, you bitch! Well, that's uncalled for. Oh. The atmosphere in this place is so... oppressive. Like when I met Charles and saw that thing. What is that? It's so... beautiful. Feels like I gotta... What are you doing? Hey, lady, please, I'm begging you! Shouldn't have called her a bitch. What's that? In my head, sounds like, like, please don't leave me alone here with it. Oh, that was a bad line read, wasn't it? Please don't leave me alone here with it. Uh oh. Oh dear. What was that? It was like my body was moving on its own. Nice no, switch says, don't call a lady a bitch. Call her a bad bitch. It's all about intent. I agree. Oh, my stomach feels like it's turned inside out. Oh, shit. Where am I? What the hell's going on? Mirror. Examine. Ah, oh, fuck. My head. It feels so fuzzy. Is this real? Ooh, a bidet! And a toilet full of blood! Ral! This painting. There was a hole behind it. Whoa, I barely touched it. Didn't this happen? Aren't we supposed to be hoying an axe at someone? What the? Hello? Dot, dot, dot. I swear I heard something. Hannah Axelson says, this is where the blood pair comes to pee. Oh, we can just go around. Oh, no. I thought it was a trick, but was it me all along? Oh, God. Hello. There's another one? Wait, this painting. Right, this is how it happened. I took it off the wall right before the... What was it again? Right before the... What the fuck? Oh, look! 
Seats down on this one. Toilet seats up. Toilet seats down. What are we doing? Oh, wait, that's right. It reveal it. Oh, fuck. But we can't do the thing now. It reveal it reveals. Eat, eat, eat reveals. Rrg. Did I do that? In the case of the next thing is, P Noctum has done a super chat saying, "What in the max pain is this shiz?" I know, right? I've I've been here before. Am I? Was I my own reflection? Fuck. It's all gone a bit triangle, hasn't it? I remember feeling so helpless. Torres was trapped, dying, and I... I was only able to help her because of... Dust, dust, dust. The axe. The axe from the mirror. How do I have this? My head is all fuzzy. Is this what happened? Did I help myself? Ugh. Nothing in this place makes sense. Why should it start now? Rrrrg! Okay, get ready, me. One axe-based deus ex machina coming up. This game's fucking great. Oh. You know, when I get out of here, my therapist and I are going to have a lot of stuff to unpack. We die in this bit. We die in this bit. Hello? You. Who is this? Do you know what's happening? Dot, dot, dot. No response. Centrifuge ready. But I need the tau element. Examine the wall. There's a giant hole which the bookcase was covering. Should I make it? How would I even do that? How make hole in wall? Machine. Machine. Centrifuge. Oh, fuck. How would I even make that? Acid? Needles. How would I even make that? How would I even make that? Where? I feel like I'm meant to be progressing quite swiftly through this bit. And now I'm confused. How do I even do that? I've got nothing in my inventoire. Still not got the axe. Push chair. Push chair into wall. At this point, to keep it moving, I would, uh, if, ah, uh, bone saw, never mind, shut up, everyone. <laughs> I remember there was a bone saw down there. Josh Solo Jenkins has done Josh's first ever super chat, saying, I arrived precisely when I meant to. Except that I'm late, so I'll see you on VOD. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, Josh Solo Jenkins, and I'll see you back in, um, in this part of the video. Here we go. Time to die in a hole in the wall. This is where I met Ruth, but there was a body here. A body that looked like this is how I found part of the antidote. But there's no sign of that now. Dot, dot, dot. Therefore, am I supposed to help myself again? Set the stage? I think this is how I it I look when I found myself. God, this is so messed up. And I, I'm dot, dot, dot. So tired. <gasps> oh my god! We were the thing that smashed our way out! Well, that's great. <clears throat> this will be the greatest performance of my career. <laughs> Damn it, stop jerking me around like this. Where the hell am I now? You know where we are. Oh, fuck off. I mean, Kai's lovely, but giant Kai? Fucking hell. They re they're really swinging for the fences on this one. Are you the one behind everything? I almost drowned. All your pain. All your anger. All your despair. 
You are worthy. Worthy of what? Dot, dot, dot. Y you, I'm not afraid of you. After everything you've done, I'll show you what I'm worthy of. Oh, I'll show you what I'm worthy of. Fuck it. <laughs> They're a kaiju. Very, very good, Alex Hansen and WhoMD21. This place. This is the other side of the door that was boarded up. Also, Eleanor Smith says, is that Torres' silhouette? Yes, it is. It is absolutely Torres' silhouette. Whether, whether that's because they don't have another asset? Doubt, frankly. I don't know. Let's see. This place. This is the other side of the door that was boarded up. To find Kai, I need to create a path for myself. Okay, one, two... And now I'm back here again? Tell me what's going on. Tell me. Tell me what the point of all this is. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, I'm talking to you, damn it. If you want my help, this one is beyond help. In Terabang? This one is undeserving. A mistake wrought by a careless hand. Leaving a way forward, a crack. A moat in the eye of the universe for you to slip through. Th that voice. It's not very good. Sorry. I'll do better. We have spoken before. <laughs> we have spoken before. Yet never so clearly. Close enough to touch. <laughs> it's a Dalek, says Alicia Freeman. Oh, no. It has been eons since I could parlay with one of your kind. <laughs> Longer still since one was worthy. Ugh, you keep saying that. Who are you? What is this? Why am I worthy? Dot, dot, dot. Hey! Fuck. What's happening? <laughs> nice, it says, Wario? Wah! Ah, oh, Wario! Wah! Oh, no, I'm not doing Waluigi again. Where am I now? It's gone very... Control slash Halo slash Bioshock, hasn't it? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ah, tits. N no. You're not real. This can't be real. Few have ever come so far as to behold our divine countenance. Fewer still would ever dare. But I have fed well over these many years. Mm -mm. M my head? What's... All I needed to regain my strength. Supping on the tender fruits of your kind. All in exchange for your petty, fleeting conception of power. Just, just, just shut up! I can't think! God! Yes, we have been called that. So many names by so many throats. Writhing in feverous love and devotion. Stronger with each gasping desperate praise. Until the betrayal by one of your kind. A fearful worm who twisted our rituals and left us caged below. Half in, half out. The gate but a crack when it should be a gape. When is a gate not a gape? When is a gape not a gape? When it's a crack? But watching. Always watching and feeding. You, you, uh, f f feed on. Oh shit. Drop by drop. The elixir of your suffering upon our many tongues. Sustaining us. Strengthening us. You fear because you are weak. You suffer because you are weak. You could have fled. Yet you came to us to complete the ritual. Shit. This is your purpose. You are a key? 
No, that's that's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Oh fuck! Everything I've gone through my whole life, it 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 can't be. Uh, my body feels like it's on fire. You always struggle. Worms twisting through the carcass of the cosmos. But we shall give you greater purpose. A part of our great being as we scorch this plane with the glory of our rule. That sounds bad. N no! Yeah, shit. No! The gate is open. The time has come. Accept your place in eternity. Shut up! My whole life! The things I've done and experienced. The people who have helped and loved me. My family, my friends. Torres and everyone else. It doesn't matter what I've accomplished. My life is worth something. My life is worth everything. And I'll give it all to make sure you can never, ever do this to anyone ever again. You need me to keep the gate open, but I'm a worm? Huh? Well, I hope you choke on me. God damn. Torres. Dot, dot, dot. She's not coming back. You don't know that. Just, just give her a little longer. It's been hours, damn it. She's not responding to the radio. That tremor just a few minutes ago was the biggest one so far. She might have... Dot, dot, dot. Look, we've been all over this damned place calling for her. She's gone. Surprise, surprise. Look who's ready to save his own hide, says Ruth. Now you listen to me, you... Please, everyone. We can't turn on each other. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. I dust dust dust. I dust dust dust. Look, I... I want her to be alright too. But if we can't find her... Dust dust dust. And if she's not responding, then... Dust dust dust. Then... Dust dust dust. <laughs> dust dust dust. He's right. Torres! Alex promised she'd be back, and if she hasn't, then... Dust dust dust. But... She said it herself. The best thing we could do would be to bring help. Dot, dot, dot. So, we'll go. And we'll bring help. It's the only thing we can do. Dot, dot, dot. Let's get moving, everyone. We can't do anything else here. Following the events at the mansion, Torres found herself very busy indeed, tracking down and apprehending everyone she possibly could who had a connection to the society, whether the authorities wanted her help or not. She felt a renewed sense of purpose and fire, dot, dot, dot. And oddly, a new appreciation for life. She had learned, after all, how unexpectedly fleeting it could be, and tried to slow down and enjoy it more when she could. Sometimes. A little. Torres spent the rest of her life in the pursuit of bringing to justice those who had abused their power and resources, including, eventually, the corrupt officers who had been responsible for her leaving the force all those years ago. Though she had many offers to join other agencies over the years, she would always turn them down. In her own words, I already lost the best partner I could ever hope for. How could anyone else possibly? ever measure up. Here he comes. While the public would never truly believe the wilder elements of the events recounted at the mansion, 
Charles didn't care. For him, it was a validation of everything he had spent his life chasing, and between that and an intense desire to make the most of the time Alex's sacrifice had granted him, he threw himself into his work and studied with a studies with a renewed sense of purpose. He would eventually become one of the world's most respected scholars on folklore and the occult, even getting a few cameos in some of his favourite horror movie series, much to his delight. Charles's experience in the mansion had also left him keenly aware of how much people had to offer one another and how fleeting his time really was. Though it was often an awkward, halting process, he spent the rest of his days determined to reach out to others as best he could and was remembered by those who knew him best as an eccentric soul who only truly wanted two things, to be known and to be of help. And also he bought his girlfriend Sarah a takeaway, says Night Switch. <laughs> if following the events at the mansion, the next several years of William's life were thrown into upheaval. His connection to the society meant he came under intense scrutiny as he reluctantly shared what he knew only to discover he had no way to actually prove anything and all those he implicated had rock-solid alibis, hmm. including his so-called former friends, who used their connections and influence to effectively financially ruin him. It left him paranoid, mistrustful, and very, very bitter. For the first time in his life, William found himself undergoing what was for him some very unpleasant self-reflection. It would be unreasonable to say he ever had a complete change of heart and became a good person, but over time, with some awkward attempts at learning, one might say he was on the way to being a better one. Shitwreck says so it had no impact on William's personality at all. No, only his um, bank balance. And he's away. Here comes the Ruth. 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 I don't know how to do... How to summarise Ruth. While the media was reacting to the shock of finding out about a secret society, Ruth was focused on one thing. Rolling up her sleeves and getting back to work. With the help of Torres and, surprisingly, William, Ruth was able to keep her clinic work out of the public eye. To the frustration of the press, any interviews she deigned to take focused on only one thing, that the people who needed better help, that, sorry, the people who needed better help than a system that was failing them. Yes, Ruth. Yes, please, Ruth. But if the media was bored by her words, sorry, give me one second, CJ Vale just said William's personality is his bank balance. And oh my God, if that isn't true of so many rich people in the public eye. Like Boris Johnson's personality is rich. That's it. Like his his personality is I'm wealthy. Fucking hell. Oh, that's gonna stay with me, CJ Vale. Anyway, if the media was bored by her words, the public was inspired by them, and Ruth's passion quickly spread like wildfire as more and more people took action to fight for change. All Ruth cared about was that she had her family and friends, a warm cat and a cold beer to come back to at the end of the day. Until that one sad day when she came home to a cold cat. She microwaved her beer in solidarity <laughs> and she drank it. Though she was still haunted by what she had experienced at the mansion, fair, Ruth finally realised what so many whose lives she'd touched had always known, that what she did mattered and had made a profound difference, regardless of what anyone might have tried to tell her otherwise. We didn't like the cold cat joke. Sorry. <laughs> Prior to the events at the mansion, Kai had felt as if they were struggling to figure out where their passion truly lay in life. Afterwards, however, Kai was unable to stop thinking about the things they had seen, the people they had met and lost, and their own place in events. For the first time in their life, Kai felt a powerful motivation to be someone who can touch the lives of others. 
even in some small way. To be someone who helped rather than someone who hurt, Kai felt strongly that people should be able to enjoy their lives without needing the power and influence to justify it. After college, Kai's architecture career was marked by a focus in public libraries, parks, theatres, any place people might find a little joy and experience. Fuck yeah, fuck the private prison complex. For most of their life, Kai would describe himself as nobody important. The places they conceived and built that would stand to enrich the lives of others for decades to come would say otherwise. Incroyable. Save the world. We saved the world, everyone. We legit saved the world. According to the Steam achievement I just got. Well, that was fucking great. What a game. I mean, we're going to load and see what happens when we just leave, right? Like, let's let's do that. Even if, even if it's just going to be a lot more reading. What a game. Haywire says, now to see if there's anything post-credits. The credits are, are brief. Look at that. What a game. Nick Jeffrey says, is the world worth saving, Johnny? Well, the thing is, if I'm like, no, damn it all. Like, that's that's kind of the same thing as like, you know when like eco-fascists are like, well, humans are the virus, you know? Like, it's just a different brand of fascism. I'm not here to say whether or not humans deserve to, li deserve to live. Right. Auto save? Reception. Yeah, reception, not the well. Alright. Brian Shona says a lot of people in the world are worth saving at least. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's talk to Torres and see what happens when we just book it. That nagging feeling gone? Ready to leave? Yeah! Fuck it. Yeah, let's go. Type, 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 type. Okay, this should do it. Everyone ready to go? <laughs> Look at Charles! He's got so many books! I thought he had a, like, Tom Baker scarf on, but no. Jitrex says, time to save the polycule and destroy the world! Let's do it. Yes, please. Just open the damn door! I'm not hearing the magic word! Oh, yes, Alex. Alex, please. Okay, okay, give me a sec. Click. Yeah, that should do it. Uh-oh, another tremor. This place can shake itself apart for all I care. I hope the ground swallows it whole. You know, in certain mythologies, tremors often preceded the emergence of... Who cares? I don't. I don't want a damn bedtime story. I want to be as far away from here as possible with a stiff drink. We know you like a drink, William. Oh, uh, of course. I, ju I just thought maybe... No, no more theories and discussions and pondering, blast it. Alex, my gratitude, truly. You have dot, 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 gone above and beyond. It's more than, more than I deserve. But I'm getting out of this damned hellhole. Out of my way. Alex Hansen says bays over bays. Uh-oh, I'm not ready to discuss Life is Strange Season 1 again. Oh, look at him go. Can't see, I don't know how he feels. To be honest, I didn't entirely believe we'd ever walk out of here. Hmm. We wouldn't be, if not for Alex, says Kai. That's an extremely polite way of putting it, says Ruth. Oh, Ruth, do you have a more explicit way of putting it? Well, for once, he's setting a good example. We should get out of here. Before anything, blah, blah, before anything, else, gets, get, blah, before anything else goes wrong. Torres, you okay? There's dot, dot, dot. No, I'm sure it's nothing. Let's go. Torres was never satisfied with her escape from the mansion, largely because she left without any real sense that things had truly been settled. 
or that she could hold anyone accountable for it. A full search of the premises by law enforcement only revealed more questions, including a hidden elevator that went nowhere at all, only solid earth beneath it. After the initial media furore, the case slowly went cold despite Torres' attempts to keep digging. Torres spent the rest of her life in the pursuit of bringing to justice those who abused their power and resources, including eventually the corrupt officers who had yammy 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 been responsible for her leaving the force all those years ago. If nothing else, that finally brought her some measure of peace. She may have even smiled slightly. Big whoop for Torres. Um, Samantha Martin has done a super chat. A big old super chat. Thank you very much, Samantha. That is really generous of you. Can't wait to watch this after work. I got this game and did 100% because of you streaming it. Thanks for all you do, Johnny. Appreciate you and your hard work very much. Has been such a positive impact in my life. That's such a lovely thing to say. That is really, really lovely. Thank you. And good job on 100%ing it. Bloody hell. Um, that's genuinely impressive. You both killed and saved everyone. Hmm. Right. Enough out of you, Torres. Here he comes. After his experiences in the mansion, Charles never stopped feeling as if they missed something. Like an itch at the base of his brain he couldn't scratch. His whole professional life narrowed to the pursuit of increasingly obscure legends and phenomena, making his reputation in academic circles suffer even more. Even so, he never lost touch with the other survivors, occasionally consulting for Torres or volunteering his time in Ruth's clinic. As much as, it, as much as it had shaken him, Charles's experiences in the mansion had also left him keenly aware of how much people had to offer one another and how fleeting his time really was. Please, please say that slide three is about him forming a polycule. Cat M says we were wrong about Torres being bad. We were, yeah. Though it was often awkward, an awkward halting process, he spent the rest of his days determined to reach out to others as best he could and was remembered by those who knew him best as an eccentric soul who only truly wanted two things, to be known and to be of help. And also he bought his girlfriend Sarah a takeaway. Right. <laughs> Chat Ch beat me to it. I didn't see it, I promise, but... <clears throat> Following the events of the mansion, the next several years of William's life were thrown into upheaval. His connection to the society meant that he, he came under... Oh my god, it's the same, isn't it? Brilliant. Brilliant. You know what? Fucking good. It's the same for him either way. Either way. He becomes bitter and weird and, and destitute. Good. Fuck off, Torres. These drums, by the way, are giving me pure fucking Halo Infinite loading screen vibes. Like, these are really... And the way they're turning, in my head, it's like, and then they went off to kill the Covenant. Anyway. Out of all of the survivors, Ruth emerged as the one who burned with the most fearsome renewed purpose and flung herself back into her work as though the world couldn't touch her. Haywire says, so we could have killed William with no repercussions whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, there probably it probably would have had a knock-on effect, but you know what I mean. She redoubled her efforts to help others regardless of personal risk. With the help of Alex's computer skills and Torres' own brand of PR skills and influence, Ruth was able to dodge between the efforts of anyone who might have tried to stop her. All Ruth cared about was that she had her family and friends, a warm cat and a cold beer to come back to at the end of the day. Though she was still haunted by what she'd experienced at the mansion and the things left unanswered there, Ruth finally realised what so many whose lives she'd touched has had always known that what she did mattered and it made a profound difference regardless of what anyone might have tried to tell her otherwise. Ruth nails it either way. Can't... Who's smooching Alex, though? You know. After they left the mansion, Kai fell off. Not only because so many questions were left unanswered, but because they felt like they had had their place in the universe violently shaken. The knowledge that someone could have the power and ability to simply reach out and toy with anyone at a whim was infuriating. And so was knowing that Kai had, themselves the doorbell just went. It's a, it's a clean sweep. Had themselves been chosen to toy with as an afterthought. Kai felt strongly that people should be able to enjoy their lives without needing the power and influence to justify it. After college, Kai's architecture career was marked by a focus in public libraries, parks, theatres, any place people might find little joy and experience. 
for most of their life, Kai would describe themselves as nobody important. Um, the places they conceived and built that would stand to enrich the lives of others for decades to come would say otherwise. All right. So a lot of them are... <laughs> I thought it says gun delivery. Oh, shit. Yeah, Alex. Jesus Christ. All right. <clears throat> oh, no. Despite managing to help the others successfully escape the mansion, Alex struggled with feeling as if she had truly saved anyone. The lack of answers frustrated her more than anything else, and the thought of anyone else going through what she had, feeling trapped, helpless, powerless, drove her to put her computer skills to use via some good old-fashioned hacktivism. Although Torres turned a blind eye to the source of the information, together with Alex, she was able to topple powerful corrupt figures, though Alex was never able to find any trace of the society that had put her and others through so much pain. As much as she was able to help countless others through her vigilantism, she never stopped feeling as if she had missed something critical all those years ago, and sometimes, at night, a certain symbol would haunt her when she closed her eyes. Slayer! <laughs> nice, which says Alex hacks the planet. Well, that was fucking great. What a game, honestly. Um, those of you who have been around on the channel uh, for a long time will, will know that um, it's not often I stream a game um, more than once in a row, let alone three times in order to complete a playthrough. I think we've done it with um, with the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Um, apart from that, I'm struggling to think of any other games that are, like we've streamed to completion. Uh, because we've been having such a nice time. And this one absolutely deserved to be um, that. It's been so lovely just diving into this game and having a very, very... Obra Dinn, that's right, we did Obra Dinn. Killer Frequency we did in one shot, yeah. Um, what a bloody lovely time. That was great. Really, really enjoyed the Tartarus Key. Um, it's just very nice, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's very unpleasant at points, but... Um... Oh, Frog Detective, of course. What am I saying? Anyway, yeah, no, it's been lovely getting really stuck into this. Um, again, shout out to my friend Lou for buying me that for Christmas. Um, it's been a bloody delight. I will be... Oh, yeah, Forgotten City as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I will be back. Uh, oh, I don't think I'm... I don't think I can stream on Thursday, unfortunately. Um, I will update you as to when I'm, when I'm going to be back streaming. I think the next couple of weeks I am... So busy with things that I cannot yet divulge um, that, uh, yeah, I don't think I can stream. I can stream once next week and once this week, unfortunately. Um, if that changes, I will, of course, let you know. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, Anna P. Gabriel has done a super chat saying, thanks for the streams. It was so much fun. Have a good evening, Jay and LSPs. Thank you very much. That's very, very kind. Um, yeah, I will let you know um, when I am back. Uh there will be fresh episodes of Presley Chiodini on Saturday. Uh, if you are a patron, Alan Wake will be concluding. Uh, if you aren't, it will be continuing. And then, um, well, you know, we'll just... Things will carry on, as per as per usual. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much again. Um, what a lovely stream. It was very, very nice. Kind of sad it's over, to be honest with you. Kind of in one of those, like, you know... Like, I, I would have taken 20 more minutes of the Tartarus Key, but you know what? No, it was a lovely game. Enjoy the ending. We did get to see William die at some point, so that was very nice. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, the usual gubbins. I've got a Patreon. There's a link in the description of this video if you can and are willing to support me directly through that. Great. If not, do not worry. Thank you very much for watching and super chatting and chatting and just being just generally lovely. It's been great. Uh, I will catch you soon. Thank you again. Fare thee well. <laughs>